Yes, guys, are you there or thereabouts? Well, if you're here, you've clicked on the right stream. Welcome to a view from the stands. If you are new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching on replay as well, then give it a whack, give it a tap. And uh, let's get ready for this. Let's get ready to rumble. It is another massive night in the Premier League. It is Aston Villa versus Fulham. Two sides sat in the top half of the Premier League. One side definitely gunning for Europe. And uh, that side is, of course, Aston Villa. Unbeaten in nine games. If they win or draw today, they will be undefeated in ten. And that is a remarkable achievement under Super Unai Emre. I hope everyone's good. It is a Tuesday. It's been a little bit of a rush to get back for the stream and have food and everything. But we're here. We're ready to rock and roll, and uh, I hope everyone is good. So do say hello in the chat if you haven't done so already, and uh, let me know how you're doing. Of course, I've seen loads of you coming early with the score predictions and et cetera, et cetera. I will ask for them again in a bit to get them down in the booklet. But we're building up to kickoff, um, and as I said, today the focus is quite simple. The focus is quite simple. Aston Villa to go 10 games unbeaten in the English Premier League. And uh, for all of you who are uh, watching, please smash that thumbs up button and uh, do, of course, subscribe to the channel. We will go into the lineups. We'll go into how everyone's feeling. But I want to know how everyone's feeling on this. What is it? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday uh, afternoon, afternoon, evening. Uh, so big up to Christos. Big up to the duper, duper, John Don duper. Big up to Debbie. Big up to Jakey Gamer TV. Big up to Luca AFC, who's an Arsenal fan, of course. Massive game for Arsenal tomorrow, Luca, against Man City. Absolute massive game, but all the best uh, with your stream as well. Uh, big up to Red Villain. Big up to Jules. How are you, Jules? Hope you're well. Um, and big up to Duncan Kilburn. Have we had Jason Eatman dropping in as well, have we? Was he? Was Jason stuck his head in earlier as well? Um, but yeah, and uh, Jason Eatman, uh, we will convince you why you've got to support Aston Villa. Literally, everyone on this channel can Come on, you know the deal right now. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, but Duncan has said, Villa founded the world's first, uh, let me just read that comment from Duncan, first league in England, also one of the th were 12 teams, and has been a major force for 135 years. Amen to that. Big up to Doug, who's going for a 2-0 Villa win. I like it, Doug. I like it. Of course, Doug joined us last night on the 10K watch on near the end. It was great to have Doug on. Um, big up to HF uh, Army, feeling hopeful. Absolutely here as well. Um, and uh, look, uh, Stephen Williams said, 2 1 Villa. Come on, Villa. I was worried they'd be batting in relegation regularly, but it's great to see them with a top coach. He's elite. He is elite. And I love Unai Emery so much. I really do. Jakey's feeling confident. And uh, Jules is saying 2 0 is what I'm feeling as well. Jules is going 2 0. That's interesting. I've had two people saying 2 0. Uh, Pete is saying 2 0 Villa. Mings to score today. Pete, are you, are you pretty sure you went Moreno? last game as well you're feeling the defenders aren't you um uh, uh, that is true pickle monster wolves on the up are wolves winning right now is that what you guys are telling me um in the chat uh duper's going three one at villa oh i like it i like it duper a lot of goals from you uh wolves have scored wow wolves are actually flying aren't they wolves are actually flying luca's going for a two one villa win uh stephen miller went three one villa goats is going two one villa thank you goats another member uh, that we've got down um and uh, villa does choose you big up to uh Mateus. He's going for a 1-1 uh, uh, a prediction. 1-1 one, one today against Fulham. Look, I'll be honest. I'm going to go into the lineups in a second. Uh, I watched Fulham against Leeds. I watched Fulham play Leeds. Uh, and Fulham were excellent. Fulham were really good. And they didn't even look like they were coming out of... Uh, uh, they didn't even really feel like they were going to come out of first gear uh, against Leeds. Uh, and so I'll go into that, Fulham. Uh, but we have got the lucky shirt on. As I said, I've been wearing this now for... Uh, well, this will be the 10th stream, 10th Villa stream, and we haven't lost since I've been wearing this shirt. So, wow, love the lucky shirt, eh? Um, Bill Sargent's going for a 4-1 Villa win, and uh, unbelievable. Jason Frost, hope, uh, hopeful of a win as my mum passed away not too long. Ah, Jason, thoughts and condolences are with you, my friend. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Jason Frost, and look, a Villa win should cheer you up. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to um, hear that. But, uh, yeah. Condolences, indeed. Should we get into the lineups and should we get this lucky shirt going uh, for for the good vibes that it is? So let me just check. I've got the right thing. Here it is then. Um, here it is. The stats and it is um, no surprise guy. Well, the biggest surprise I'd say is that Emmy Martinez. He's not ill anymore. Thank goodness for that. If I saw Robin Olsen on that picture, I think I would have cried, guys. I think I would have cried. Big up, be happy. 
and uh, Ian Gillespie said, sorry, Mr. 10K first, Josh was working away in enemy territory. Ooh, here's the 20K. Thank you very much, Ian. And he's going for a 2-1 Villa prediction. Thank you, Ian. I appreciate it. And uh, lucky shirt, you're the lucky charm, says Jules, hopefully. Look, Emmy's in goal, guys. Emmy's okay. Emmy's fine, which is brilliant. We don't have to watch um, uh, Batman psychic Robin playing goal. Do you know what I mean? So, look, great news that Emmy Martinez is in goal. But it's an unchanged lineup. It is an unchanged lineup for the third game game in a row third game in a row Unai has picked the same 11 we've got to love it we've got to love it um big up Stephen Williams big up to Sue Goddard as well saying come on uh Villa big up to Tracy says hi I hope Villa win 3-0 same here Tracy I really hope we go on and win James is in the house and uh Duncan's got his kazoo shirt on which we love we absolutely love um look in all seriousness I think Unai is making a real clear point here about this Aston Villa side which is that I'll say it again, he isn't a fan of the bench. He isn't a fan of the fringe players. You've got to ask questions where Traore, uh, Luca Dean and Callum Chambers will be next season because he keeps trusting these guys, doesn't he? And, and they've been doing the job. They've been doing the job. So I'm, I'm happy that we've gone unchanged. Hopefully legs won't be too bad. Remember, of course, Ashley Young came off, uh, as did Moreno, um, at, at half time, uh, not half time, about uh, 30 minutes to go in the Brentford game. So their legs should be okay. Uh, ben Jordan, clean sheet for Debu today. Hopefully, Ben. Hopefully, big up to David Burke. Burton. Big up to Ty as well. 3 0 Villa win. Maybe four. Uh, wait for the stream to start. Come on, you Villa. Absolutely love to see you in here, Ty. Mike, an interesting question is whether we should sell Dean given how good Moreno is. Look, it's a good backup left back. It's whether Luca Dean wants to play backup left back. That's the big question. Uh, Sean Elliott says, Hi, mate. 2 0 Villa tonight. When Dean Watkins to score here. Europe, here we come. Get those passports ready. Hey, big up to my man, Bodlin. Great to have you in here, my friend. And thank you for the kind words recently, Bods. You're going 3 0 Villa with Ramsey to score first. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Um, should we have a quick look at the film team then? Shall we have a quick look at the Fulham team? Uh, because they sound so American, don't they, when I say that? Fulham. Uh, th th there's one surprise in this Fulham team, uh, which is that, that man on the graphic, Mr. Daniel James, is starting. Daniel James is starting for them. And I think, I don't want to curse anything, but I'm actually quite glad he's starting. I do not fear Dan James. Uh, at all please don't be famous last words though uh, uh absolutely uh i hope it's not um but there we go big up to no name uh unless we get a better left back than dina i'm uh i'm not sure uh, dina should be sold absolutely um but yeah uh big up to uh uh yeah no worries Mateus. good to see you mate and uh do you think that it'll finish fifth i'm still sticking my seventh prediction i said it before we played chelsea and that was, that was what, five games ago? I said Villa will finish seventh. That was before Chelsea. I'm sticking with that. Um, Fulham team might as well paste a picture of Buster going to park it so hard. <laughs> Love that from Mike. Um, look. Oh, Rachel's coming with some breaking news. Hearing Willian has dropped out and Solomon replaces. If Willian has dropped out, that is massive for us. Because I'll tell you now, Willian was bloody incredible against Leeds. I was watching him going, wow, this is like prime Willian. He was ghosting past players but why is Fulham such a memorable fixture because it was the game that got Steven Gerrard sacked basically it was a disgrace at Craven Cottage of course Dougie Louise got sent off as well in that game but yeah look the Fulham team players to watch out for uh, is Robertson number 33 bomb down that left Palinia I will be surprised if he's at Fulham next season do you know who Palinia should go to a Manchester United or a Tottenham Genuinely, genuinely something like that. I would have him at Villa. I would have that Paulinia at, uh, at, at, at Villa. Uh, what else we got? We got Wilson, of course, James, uh, who I don't fear. But yeah, this is the full Fulham side, um, which is, which is you know, one of those teams that we just got to look at and, and think. Big up to Nolan, who joined us yesterday. He's going for a 1-0 Villa. Thank you, Nolan. And of course, if you are a member and i've missed your prediction get it in i know like duncan uh rachel and duncan i think i missed your prediction so please do get it in again rachel and duncan uh missed that and anyone else who's a member hasn't put your uh, prediction in then there we go um but yeah who remembers gerard they are coming down the tunnel now we're on bt sport we won't need spoilers today because i am live and direct uh but hopefully it's a very different game under against fulham under uno big up to inspire dmb um and hope you're uh, hope you're good alexis get your score prediction in as well well uh what else we got just going through the comments and uh big up to all of you in here and uh 
Right, let me just go to the last graphic, which is obviously uh, this one. And we'll have a quick reminder of the league table as well. So there we are. The teams are coming out at Villa Park. It's nice that it's bright skies now, isn't it? It's nice that it's bright skies uh, in, the, in, in, in Birmingham today. Duncan's going 2-0. And Rachel's going 1-0. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, look, I want to just remind ourselves of what it means. If we win tonight, if we win tonight, we go above Tottenham. Granted, we're going to have a game on hand of them. But psychologically, we can jump up to fifth tonight if we win. We'll go 10 games unbeaten and we can jump up to fifth in the league, people. Fifth in the league. Imagine that. Imagine freaking that. If Fulham win, they start putting the pressure on us the other way. So it's hard. It's it's hard to really gauge this one. Um, but I'm confident we're going to go and beat an end. I'm confident Unai is going to do the job for us. And I really, really do believe that we're going to get a good result here today. Um, and of course, as Jason Frost has mentioned, Spurs play Man United on Thursday. So teams around us are playing each other. And we still have Liverpool to play. We still have Tottenham to play. We still have Man United to play. We've got to play Brighton. So we've got to play the teams above and below us. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Get your score predictions in. Big up to Danny Villa. Uh, we need some goal difference. Jakey Gamer as well. And uh, Inspire DMB. Please get your score prediction as well, buddy. I want to know your first goal scorer then. And uh, it is a breaking news that Manor Solomon has come into the starting lineup. Uh, so William has dropped out. Uh, so, yeah. And, and finally, our recent head to head games against Fulham, as you can see. That 3 0 thrashing, which Jared got sat. We beat them 3 1 at Villa Park in the 21 season. So we, we got a good record against them at Villa Park as well. Aaron Shelton is going for a 2-0 Villa win. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. And uh, Jason Powell's in the house. He's going 2-0 uh, Villa. Uh, thank you, Jason P. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, who's your first goal scorer then? Who's your first goal scorer? Get it in the chat. I'm going to just change uh, Willian on the on the, on the on the sheet because uh, we want to get the lineups accurate. Uh, so that is good news for us. Marco Silva as well. He's done a pretty good job, isn't he? We have to respect the job of uh, Marco Silva. My score prediction then, guys, quite simple for me. I'm going for a 2-0 Aston Villa win, and I'm going for a uh, Emi Buendia first goal today. I'm going for Emi Buendia first goal scorer Aston and Villa to win 2-0. That's my score prediction. Debbie Hingley is going 3-0. Buendia first goal. Thank you, uh, Debbie, indeed. Appreciate it. And uh, big up to everyone in here. Make sure you smash that like button for me. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it if you smash that like up. And, of course, as well, do subscribe if you are new. But I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it tonight. I'm feeling that we're going to do well. I'm feeling that we're going to get a result. And uh, yeah, I, I just I just believe in us to do to do well tonight. And I don't know how you guys feel, but that's how I'm feeling. So thank you to everyone who is tuning in. Uh, we are about to kick off. I wonder if we're going to kick off towards the whole end or uh, or or not. Of course, it's been a, a bit of a theme recently, hasn't it, in the Aston Villa Etrons of kicking towards that? But it does look like we aren't. So we're going to be kicking into the Holt second half, people. We're going to be kicking into the Holt for the second half. And uh, as I said, thank you to everyone tuning. In. Get your first goal scorers in. I am feeling, I am feeling an Emmy Buendia first goal today. I liked his assist for Dougie Louise. I thought it was quite calm. I thought it was quite composed to do that. And we're just waiting for the referee to uh, blow his whistle. And we are underway. Vamos! Come on, the Villa. Up the bloody Villa. Let's have it. Let's have it then, guys. And uh, look, if you do want to watch this game, then it is, of course, on BT Sport 2. There's quite a few empty seats at Villa Park today. I saw people on Twitter talking about it. But, you know, midweekers are always hard as the ball comes across. And there's a base call kick! Fulham nearly make it 1-0 in the first 20 seconds. It's Andreas Pereira of Fulham, number 18. A cross comes in from the right-hand side from Harrison Reed. Andreas Pereira of a bicycle kick that had Amy Martinez scrambling, and it hits the side netting. And genuinely for a second, I thought they went 1-0 up there. I nearly cried. I nearly thought Fulham had gone 1-0 up there. What a flying start that is from them. And what an effort that is. But... Um, but yeah, on for today. 20 score matches in a row for the Mighty Villa. Love it. Yeah, I love seeing that Villa emoji in the chat. Inspire DMB is going 2-1. Thank you, Inspire. And uh, yeah, that was a bit of a scare, guys. That was a bit of a scare. Uh, Fulham nearly scoring early on. But here we go. Rob's going Ramsey first goal. Fraser's feeling a bit of Ollie Watkins. And uh, love it as Tyron Mings now clips it down to Moreno. Moreno clips it down the channel looking for Ramsey. And uh, tossing Adrabayo deals with that one. So... Yeah, a lot of that lower stand uh, Villa Park is empty. I'm shocked. I am shocked, guys. I think it's just midweekers. I mean, look, 
I would love to go if I knew that, yeah, but at the same time, getting from Yate to Birmingham is just uh, not ideal. Uh, big up to Dino, he's going for a Villa 1-0, or he's going for a 2-1 Fulham. Big up to Dino, hope you're well, pal. Hope you're looking after yourself. Wisconsin has it. No, get your score prediction in, Gracie. Jakey's feeling the McGinn, McGinn screamer today. Right, here's Ezri Concert. As as Villa do now, they take their time on the ball. They let the pitch big. And Fulham are sat in a 4-4-2, guys, out of possession. Just for your note, Dan James and uh, Pereira, the two highest Fulham players. Ramsey trying to find Moreno and uh, nearly gets there. Indeed, as Tyron Mings brings it down now. Mings into the donk. I love watching Villa just now dominate games in this style of play that we have, where we just keep the ball, we move it around, we're patient as Mings clips it down. Go on, Ollie Watkins and Burnt Leno's off his line. I must say, Burnt Leno, very good keeper. Very, very good goalkeeper, isn't he? Burnt Leno. Get, um, and, and I think, you know, I respect him. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me in again. Yes, the duper. All about the Villa vibe. Loch Ness Monster is going 2 on Villa. Uh, Christos likes Villa and chicken. Not a bad combo, to be fair. Fried chicken. <laughs> Here's Tim Reen. Ooh, sloppy touch from the American International. And Buendia closes him down there and blocks it out. And, uh, yeah. Pete Tanny said, Leno to Villa. Could we entice Burnt Leno to be a backup keeper? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But there's Unai in his lovely gilet looking on with his glaring face. You don't mess with that face of Unai Emre. I tell you now. As the ball's thrown into uh, Tosin Adrabayo. Bolty pie. Love a bolty pie. No, we won't see Carlos unless there's an injury to concert or Mings. Uh, here's Paulinia. Come on, Villa, says Sue. Love it. Into Tossin. Tossin into Tim Ream. Ream now pushes it out wide, and uh, John McGinn recovers that well. Here's Ashley Young. Do you keep me updated on the scores in the Wolves and Leicester and Leeds game as well, please, guys. Um, I really hope Leicester get a victory against Leeds United tonight. I really do. Um... I really do. I really, really do for Dean Smith. Uh, play on, says the referee. Ball switched out left here. Solomon with an awful touch. He does just about recover, though, Solomon. 2-1. Uh, Thank you, Gracie. I'll get that down for you. Cheers, Gracie. Got that in. And uh, Duncan needs a bovril. <clears throat> Cheers, uh, Red Villain. Goes back into uh, Tossin. And Fulham's turn to... Uh, Keep it of the ball. Emmy Buendia again nearly steals it off Tim Ream. Tim Ream started a little bit nervous tonight, guys. Tim Ream has started a little bit nervous tonight for Fulham. Um, a few heavy touches trying to play out from the back. A little bit sloppy in what he does, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, an interesting one. It's an interesting one. A few Americans on the pitch as well, isn't there? In the Fulham ranks. Rumour has Pulisic going villain and something. Any thoughts, Josh Carlo? Where's that rumour come from? Old Captain America. I reckon we could get a good tune out of Captain America. Old uh, old Christian Pulisic. His Chelsea career has gone up. Suit down to Pam. Yeah, let her do that then, Gracie. Get it in. Get it in for Lily. Here's Tyrone Mings. Mings into concert. Fulham trying to press us. And, uh, yeah, he would, Duncan. He would. And uh, concert still carrying the ball. Do you know what? I've never had any Bovril. Anyone else, same same boat as me, never drank any Bovril in their life? Concern to Donks. Villa, back to controlling the game. They're saying, look, Fulham, you had a lot of the ball, but it's our turn to dominate. As he bounces back into Dougie Louise. And Fulham, look at this mid-block by Fulham. Very impressive mid-block. They're playing a really high line, though, so hopefully Villa can just clip that in behind. But you can see Fulham defensively organised, taking Villa very seriously. And Villa have to be patient in possession. This is this is the aim of the game for Villa, as we bounce it into Dendonka. Um, yeah, we do go fifth tonight if we win. As Mings now into Watkins. Hold it, play brilliant. Villa have climbed forward the pitch. All oh, thanks to that pass from Tyro Mings. The Donks now into McGinn. Villa now playing in Fulham's half. I sense a good passage here from Aston Villa. As Donker now into Tyro Mings. And uh, remember, guys, if you hear that mic blow tonight, you know that Villa have scored. That's the key for this uh, YouTube channel. Is when that microphone blanks out, you know we've scored. As Moreno sets Ollie Watkins. Brendan with a shot. Oh, Emmy. Four Buendia just nestled one in. It's a great piece of defending by Fulham. John McGinn wins it back, though. McGinn into Buendia. Loving Buendia and McGinn at the moment. They're flying, those two. Here's John McGinn. 
great play this from Villa. Look at the confidence in possession. Young into Louise. It's one touch ticky tack of football. We may as well be uh, Barcelona under Guardiola, the way we're playing some of this ticky tacky stuff. As the Donk wins it back, brilliant press from the Donk. The Donk now into Buendia. Villa playing in around the Fulham box here. As Dougie Louise has it outside the foot pass and cleared by Tossim. We're looking sharp. We are looking sharp tonight, people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, look at the flow of this Villa team. The confidence is oozing. The confidence is oozing. We'll take it, Duncan. <laughs> Agree, Christophs. Listen, we are oozing. Oozing with confidence right now. I can tell by the way we're passing the ball. What? If you are watching this game, can you sense it? Can you feel it? Uh, Lily's prediction, 1-1 one, one draw. Thank you. And key Gracie. Look at Mings. All Villa right now. Into Moreno. Moreno. Lovely little twist from Moreno. Fulham don't know what's hit them. Fulham don't know what's hit them. Big up to Jersey boy. World of football. Big up Jers. Back in a Villa win tonight, Jers. Here's Den Donker. He's, he gets a load of touches now. And what I like about this, guys, is that um, with Den Donker in the side, it means Dougie Louise can play a little bit higher, guys. It means Dougie Louise can play a little bit higher. And I do like Dougie higher up the pitch because I think he's a talented footballer. He's got great touches. He's got a lovely, lovely flair about him. Here's John McGinn. He's been brilliant and he wins a foul there. Well done, John McGinn. Back it up, back it in. Let me McGinn. <laughs> yeah, mate. Real Madrid are a weird old side this season. Real weird old side. They're, they're getting panned in La Liga, yet they're going to be in the Champions League semi-final. Hawks predicted a 2-1 Villa win. Big up to Shane Oldham. Uh, Daz Reynolds, who's the ref tonight? Oh, gosh, more about VAR these days for me. Uh, I don't notice the ref. Um, uh, yeah, let me have a quick look for you. Who the ref is tonight, then? Who is the ref? It is... Thomas Brammel, whoever Thomas Brammel is. Right, Villa have a dangerous free kick. Pardon me, everyone. And uh, plays it into Ezri Konza. Konza now into Dougie. Go on, Ashley Young. Get at him. Young. Back to Dougie. Back post there. Go on, Moreno. Tries to head it across. And it's going to be a corner to Aston Villa. Great, great pressure. Really enjoying this first eight minutes, guys. Really enjoying this uh, first eight minutes. Hope you guys are all well in the chat. Can we aim for 50 likes on the stream? That's that's what I'd love. 50 thumbs up. So if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, then please do so. And do subscribe if you are new. We're going for 50. Um, there we go. Corner. Dougie Louise on this. We know what Dougie does when he's on the corners. This is Thomas Brown's fifth ever time referee in a Prem game. Well, let's hope... Let's hope he can handle the occasion. Dougie Louise now swings it in. Oh, just over Watkins' head. Falls to Ashley Young. Young with a rocket. And it just goes wide of the goal. Villa want a corner. Ashley Young, he does take a deflection. It's another Villa corner here. Ashley Young with a thunderbolt. Oh, it comes off Harrison Reed. Harrison Reed does enough there. Harrison Reed does enough to block that. <laughs> that is uh, that is true, Brain. Uh, big up, Will Bevan. Absolutely. Here's John McGinn. Swings the corner in. It's another great in swing of Villa. We've got to make these corners count. It's sliced there. Anthony Robinson. Scramble. Mingzi tries to get up. Oh, doesn't fall to any Villa player. Great pressure there from the Villa. I, I feel a Villa goal in the next 10 minutes. I feel a Villa goal coming in the next 10 minutes. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm feeling a Villa goal in the next 10 minutes. We are peppering them. We are absolutely peppering them. Here is Tyro Mings. Yeah, I heard it, Rachel. I was disgusted with TalkSport. Basically saying Unai Amre would probably look to leave Villa and go to a bigger club. And then they tried to throw Spurs in the equation. I was like, man, don't, don't talk waffle. Don't talk absolute waffle why would Unai Amre leave this incredible project to Aston Villa with the ownership with the with the absolute squad that he's got it's so much potential it's, it's it just shows how pundits don't watch Villa here's John McGinn it actually just shows how many people outside of Aston Villa fans in the media don't watch Villa it winds me right up <laughs> yeah Buendia on the 15th minute maybe I did say that yeah I did he was oh that, yeah exactly that brain exactly that we got embarrassed at Craven Cottage they don't take it seriously Ben Smith they don't here's uh, Dougie Louise 
We want to foul them. We do win when we're running this game at the moment, aren't we? We do have more money than Spurs. We've got more ambition than Spurs. We actually, you know, have good unity, unlike Spurs. And uh, I think Brain, as a Spurs fan, that's nonsense, isn't it? To think Unai going to Spurs is a, a forward move for him right now. Henry should go to Chelsea. He just needs to stay where he is. He's bossing it right now. Here's Tyrone Mings. Yeah, he's just he's just bossing it right now. In Unai, I trust, and I always trust in that man. <laughs> in Unai, I trust. Here's Tyrone Mings. Yeah, it's true, Diego Garcia. Agree, Carlo. Here's Conta then. Big up to everyone in here. Have we hit 50 likes yet? 50 thumbs up. How many offer are we? 15 or so? As Mingzi now pushes it to Moreno. I love this move. Look how high Moreno gets. Moreno driving down the line. Moreno still going. Moreno crosses Watkins. For a penalty. Shout for a penalty. Rambo. Thomas Rambo. Come on. It looks like a Stonewall before here. Where's VAR? Where's VAR? Where's VAR? Wow, I don't know if it's being reviewed by VAR. I thought that was a Stonewall penalty for Ollie Watkins. Clearly not. Clearly not. Moreno loses it. Where's my VAR review? Can I see a replay, please, BT Sport? Thank you. Right, Moreno cuts it back to Watkins. He does, he does, Watson does come across Watkins here. <laughs> so, Tosin Adrabayo wins the ball, but he gets a bit of volley as well. Oh, that's a pun. I... No, the chat's complete. They're not giving it. They're not giving, um... They're not given a penalty. Wow. No, no penalty given. No penalty given. Uh, big up, Danielle. Good to see you in here, my friend. Hope you're well. Um, I can't believe it. Oh, well. We are peppering them. We are actually battering Fulham right now. Here's Dougie Louise looking for Buendia and behind. Tim Reen heads it. Ramsey keeps it alive. Into Moreno. Moreno now. Moreno drives into the box looking sharp. Moreno crosses it. I love Alex Moreno and his attacking intent. He absolutely loves flying down that left-hand side, doesn't he? He absolutely loves flying down that left-hand side, Moreno. Villa are looking excellent. For the first 15 minutes, we've been value for money. we just got to take a chance now. we just got to take a chance. we got to take a chance. But yeah, I, I do wonder about um, apparently the VAR's Harrington or someone like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Here's uh, Ramsey. Ramsey twisting and turning. JJ. Go on, JJ. He wants a free kick. Doesn't get one from the Bramble. What's this Bramble Bush doing? This referee Bramble Bush, I'm going to call him. Here's Tete. Tete now plays down the line. Oh, of course he gives a foul for Fulham. Of course he gives a foul for Fulham. Don't wind me up, man, tonight. I promise you, don't wind me up. Don't wind me up. I want to know why. I want to see the angle that VAR have seen. Because even I've, I've got Steve McManaman on, on the co-coms there. And he's saying, well, the referee must have had a different angle to what he's seeing. Because he thought it was a penalty as well. He thought it was a penalty as well. 12% battery. Oh, oh, not good. Oh, Fulham making a quick sub here. Looks like Bobby Deckel Dover Reed's coming on. Wow, must be an injury for Fulham making a sub like this. This Sunday, the great CSK Sevilla versus the Tumor Ball Game Football. Ludogrets battle for the title. Uh, come on then, CSK Sevilla. Uh, big up, Luca. Yeah, I did say I'd give out some new mods at 10k, to be fair. But yeah, we'll keep you going with it, Danielle. We've got. um. Looks like Harry Wilson coming off with an injury for Fulham. He's quite a big player for them. So Harry Wilson, I think, is coming off injured. Please make sure you smash a like if you haven't done so already. Hopefully Leicester batter lead tonight and Villa get their goal. Um, 
Yeah, it's definitely Harry Wilson coming off, I think. They've made the call early. So not only have they lost Willian, but now they've lost Harry Wilson. Now, I'm going to be really clear about this. There are two big players that Fulham have lost in their in their lineup, William and now Harry Wilson. Um, so it is going to be Bobby Deckard over Reed, uh, of course. I, my friend uh, Hallam, he used to watch uh, Bristol City when Bobby Deckard over Reed was playing, and he used to love them. Absolutely love this player. He's a very talented player. Uh, Jamaican international. Um, need to go to a bit of game soon to fail. I'm only 30 minutes away. Get there, Hawk. Big up to Sue Goodall. Uh, Wolves are winning 1 0, I believe, apparently. Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's hope it's all good. Uh, big up to Ros Anderson. Hey, John Poulton. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, my friend, John Poulton. Hope you're well, mate. Here's John McGinn. Lovely little turn. Villa been excellent. I really want to keep imploring how good we've been. We just need that goal now. Um, we just need that goal. <coughs> Klemler, agree. What a joy it is to watch Villa. It's a pleasure. I used to not be... Listen, under Gerard, it got to a point where I'd do these watch-longs or I would be, like, putting Villa on and really dreading it. Really dreading watching Villa. A, because it wasn't entertaining. And B, I knew we were going to lose. And it was just a bit like, you know, you go through those emotions as a fan. Now, I can't wait to watch every Villa game and what Unai's going to do. It's so, it's so good, isn't it, guys? It's so good in the chat. But you chat are amazing. I big up to you. 150 of you in here. Again, thank you so much. 74% possession to Villa in this early 17 and a half minutes as Moreno turns now. Plays a pass down the line. Ramsey wasn't there. But yeah, Dougie Louise is definitely playing a lot higher up today. I like it. Um, yeah, people were absolutely hyping up Harry Wilson. He's dropped off a Dropped off a cliff as well, really. And um, to be fair, Daniel has uh, covered up there, and Villa win a free kick as Den Donkers fouled with some good defensive work. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's one of them, really. The Donk going into that double pivot. Of course, we've missed Kamara in that sense. Um, but I think the Donk's done well, hasn't he? I mean, if you look at it, Den Donk has come in and done a very stable, solid job. Kamara, we've absolutely loved, and we appreciated the efforts of. Uh, Bubakar Kamara, but of course, you know, it just shows that we're, we're quite covered in that position. Um, hey, big up Shirley, and uh, hey, big up Stakey as well. Hope you're well, and hope your mum's okay. Uh, the bookies have Emery to Spurs at 1-3. to three. Heavy odds on. Are they mad? Bookies are trying to steal money. Yeah, you'd think Jamaica could get it together, but they, they just don't. They just don't. They just don't as a nation. And better late than never, I always say, Stakey. Big up to Sebastian. Hope you're well from Germany. Here's Moreno. Moreno now tries to play it inside and he wins a throw in high up the pitch. Quick throw in there into Ramsey. Come on, JJ. Bit of magic. As I said, my score prediction before the game was 2-0 to Aston Villa. I do think we will win tonight. I'll be disappointed if we don't now the way we've played. Daniel's got two stops, a six-minute walk. Oh, gosh, 6% as well. It's not looking good. John, been really good been really good we've had a half chance um here's mcginn mcginn driving into the box crosses looking for watkins watkins shoots deflection corner good pressure again from villa this time again it's mcginn who steals it high plays it inside for watkins who gets a shot away in swinging corner coming up for aston villa yeah they gotta be taking this really archer to leave or stage off says charlie i think he's gonna leave mate i i really do i can't see why He's going to get much game time if he stays at Villa, which is sad. I don't want him to leave, but I think it's going to happen. McGinn now, in swinger. Oh! oh. Another corner. Tyron Mings there. He's the man who gets the header. Must have taken a second deflection. And as he gets... Oh, no, it wasn't. It was actually Tossin who heads it out for a corner. So it's going to be another corner for Villa. Yeah, no worries. Ross, hope to see you back. Shirley Ann's going 2-0 Villa. Watkins. Love it. Pardon me, pardon me. John McGinn in swinging corner. Swings in again. Oh, right on Burnt Leno. And that's going to go up for another corner. Third corner in a row. Villa are peppering for them here. We're peppering them. We just need some salt and some pepper and some herbs with that goal now. We just need to spice this up a bit. We need a bit of Nando sauce on here. No, uh, Palin is definitely going. McGinn swings it in. Oh, flicks on! Boom! 
Correct scorer! Someone said it in the chat earlier! I can't remember who! And it is Tyro Mings! Tyro Mings scores! And it is 1-0 Villa! Boom! 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 It's a header! The near post from Tyro Mings! We've been peppering those corners! John McGinn with the assist! And it's Tyro Mings! He's here! He's there! He's everywhere! everywhere. Tyro Mings! Tyro Mings! He's here! He's there! He's every effing where! Tyro Mings! Boom! 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 I'm so happy! I'm so happy! It was Pete Tandy! It was Pete Tandy who called the Mings goal! It was Pete Tandy who scored the Mings goal! Boom! 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 I'm so happy! He deserves it! Tyro Mings deserves it! Villa deserve it! We've been peppering them! Bang! Flick on at that front post. Let's have it. Let's absolutely have it. Mings is the man. Absolutely class. Absolutely class. Oh, that's it. Just 180 pounds. Yes, Gable, Gable. Love some of that. How bad did the mic blow? How bad did the mic blow, guys? <laughs> Was it for long? Oh. Did you guys know uh, we had scored because of the mic? Because <laughs> I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, yes, we deserve that. We've been so good this first 20 minutes. Let's have a few up the villas and the villa emojis in the chat. Oh, Ming's your little beauty. Yeah, big up to Gable winning uh, money. And uh, big up to Duncan Kilburn with the super chat. And he's gone, today's song for Josh. He wins every week. He wins, uh, he wins every week. He wins every week. Unai Emery, he wins every week. <laughs> Love that. Duncan Kilburn, he chats what he wants, he chats what he wants, he chats what he wants. Duncan Kilburn, he chats what he wants. Love that, Duncan. Love that song from you. Up the Unai Emre. Oh, let's get that second goal. Look at the movement from the corner. And it's John McGinn's corners have been excellent. What I love as well is Emmy Buendia could have tried to steal that and poke that one in. But he leaves it just in case he's offside. Mings wants it the most. Boom, boom, boom. And big up to Duncan with the dono. Yes, it duper getting that dono train in. Um, is it 1-0 to Leicester or was it ruled out? It was a great header from Mingsy. Mings the merciless. He's been excellent. And uh, Austin McPhee getting some praise on BT Sports by the love it. Ah, oh, dear. As if Mings scored. He deserved it. It's good, Edda. He's been good. Villa have been excellent. Leicester no goal. Offside. Boo. F-V-A-R. 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 Can't look at that. But there we go. The Josh Peroni show. Home of the blown microphone. <laughs> How long was it? Was it a long blow? Or was it a short blow? We are fifth. We are fifth. Yes, Anthony, good to have you in here. Yuri Tillemans, VAR, the player for Villa on a free in the summer. Oh, 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 imagine. Imagine. Oh, we're, we're flying, guys. But Duncan Kilburn, let's have a lot of love for Duncan. Big up to Duncan for the £5 super chat. Really does appreciate it. Uh, was a short blow this time. We'll take the short blow. We're always going to blow, as uh, Carlo's branding us. <laughs> we want Peroni sponsoring us. <laughs> Here's Tim Ream. We got Rizwan, and uh, here's Anthony Robertson. We've done so well. I'm loving this Villa first half performance, guys. Fulham are no mugs as well. Fulham are no mugs, by the way. Fulham are no mugs. <laughs> here's uh, Tim Ream. Tim Ream plays it forward. Heavy touch there from Solomon, and uh, he goes into tossing Adrabio. Tossing now. Tossin plays it forwards and a terrible, terrible pass on the centre half. Straight into Emi Martez's hands. He's almost laughing at him. I swear that's Emi Mar laughing at him. But uh, you know what it is with Emi. He's a cheeky old chappy in the old R. Uh, R. Uh, Emi. Cheeky chap. But yeah, guys, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. We're aiming now for 100 likes. That's our new like target. And uh, who do you reckon is going to be next goal scorer then? I'm going to... I, 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 I'm going to go Buendia, next goal scorer. Still, I'm going to stick with him. Big up to Craw. Oh, we can only dream, Gracie. We can only dream. <laughs> and the ball goes forward. Hint to Moreno. Moreno now. Moreno goes forward. Moreno. Trapped. Back post. McGinn heads it back unselfishly to Buendia. Buendia forced backwards. Lovely pass to the Donk. The Donk into McGinn. McGinn, he's strong. 
He's trying to turn. Can we get a shot away? Goes to Youngie. Youngie crosses it. To Moreno! Oh, block. Bloody hell, Villa look bloody good today. I can't help but love us. I can't help but love us. We are so good. McGinn's been awesome today. Look at McGinn again. What control that is into Buendia. You know when confidence is high. When like people like McGinn and Buendia are playing off one and two touch. It's just all liquid football. It is all liquid football. Here's McGinn. Into Ashley Young. And uh, here's Ezri Konza. Yeah, we have been goals. We have been. Um, but yeah, on your point on Palinia, genuinely now, he's going to get snapped up. He's unreal at what he does. He's a bit like Dan Donker. He's literally a bit like Dan Donker, to be fair. Uh, but I think a little bit because he's got a bit of a nicer name. <laughs> uh, we, we take him. But uh, Konza wins a uh, free kick there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I honestly, honestly, this Villa story, if you think about it, where we were, where Gerald had taken the morale of this team, where Gerald had sucked the creativity out of the team. People like Buendia can get a game under Steven Gerrard. Look at the way Buendia just plays that flick. You know, John McGinn played in the wrong position. To think that Emmy Buendia genuinely couldn't get a game under Steven Gerrard, make that make, make that make sense. It is the liquid we love, John. Here's uh, Moreno trying to get there. Deckel David Reed gets there first as Tossin plays it forward. Villa trying to press, and uh, Buendia leads that press. And Emre just clapping them on the side, and Buendia just puts... Uh, Bobby Deckel, David Reed up in the air there. Um, Red Villain, think we'll be third of the season start in November. You are right, Red Villain. You are right. It's become the norm now, hasn't it, Seto? <laughs> That's true. Then Donker's a long name. Here's Solomon. Into uh, Pereira. Apart from Pereira's bicycle kick in the first 20 seconds... Fulham haven't really troubled uh, Emmy Martinez, have they? Watkins pressing now. But we've been good for our money. Tyro Mings scoring from a corner. And uh, Robin Fine Silver, completely neutral for this one. Oh, Robin. Get aboard the Villa train, Robin. <laughs> good to see you in here, there, Robin. Hope you're well, my friend. And uh, here is Tossin Adrabayo. Oh my gosh. Here's uh, Deckel David Reed. Fulham trying to get in behind. Harrison Reed does get in behind. No threat in the box, though. It's Harrison Reed. And I'll say that about Fulham in the nicest possible way. Where is their threat? Dan James running in behind is probably what I'm looking at. But you think about Mitrovic. They miss him badly, don't they? And there was me who used to slag off Mitrovic. They miss that central presence like we have with Ollie Watkins. You know, we've got it now with. Uh, you know, that, that's what I see Fulham missing right now. There's just no comparison to the mess around and Slippy, agree? Yeah, agree, Brain. Cheers, Brain. I like Villa, but I'm a Liverpool fan. We need Fulham to win. Hamza? Sorry, mate. <laughs> Ball comes across. Uh, just curious, what was expected XG for this game? <laughs> we'll have a look at the XG at halftime. As uh, Solomon goes to the floor, look at Dougie Louise giving him some abuse. Solomon there falls to the floor in the penalty box as it goes out for a goal kick. Trying to buy a penalty. Pathetic attempt of a dive. I do want to see this Ollie Watkins one, you know. I want to know if it was definitely a pen or not. Uh, thank you for putting in uh, that seto. Uh, if you don't have me on social media, avfts1 on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, as well, you can get on the second channel, avfts reacts. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay, Red Villain. <laughs> there's a there's a 10 second delay in my end, 100% when we when we watch off BT Sport or Sky Sport, and uh, when we're streaming 3 p.m. games, we're looking at about a minute and a half. But yeah, it's all good. Sky won't give us credit all season. Big up VJ. Here's Emmy Martinez playing out from the back. Into Tyro Mings. Mings now. Mings forward into Watkins. Can you remember actually when Jamie Carragher said Villa were ridiculous for sacking Stephen Gerrard as mate? He, he was trying to justify why he shouldn't have been sacked. Can't look at it. Here's Anthony Robinson. Robinson now. Back into Burnt Leno. Fulham having a bit of a ball, trying to work forward, trying to find uh, some rhythm, I guess. I think Villa have starved Fulham of rhythm is the best way to put it. I think we've starved them of rhythm. 
Rhythm is a dancer. Da -da 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 dancer. That's a tune in that. Even though I've just butchered it. Burn Leno plays it long. And it goes out for a throw in. What's that song? Rhythm is a dancer. Da -da 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 dancer. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> See, I don't know the words, I just know the tune. Well, I should know the words, shouldn't I? Mings, he's had a difference, though, so far as Robinson. Dougie Louise, back to Emmy Buendia. Here's Tyra Mings now. And uh, Moreno has it. Moreno. Back into Mings. Mings clips it down the line. And uh, Watkins is going to hold that brilliantly into Buendia. Love that from Ollie Watkins. Ah, Buendia's a little bit slow there as he gets dispossessed by Harrison Reed. I love that from Ollie Watkins, though. Ball's fizzling to him. He's got a man up his ass, and he just pops it into Buendia, and I love that. Look at subs in top left. Absolutely love it. We're flying, aren't we? We're on the road to... Um, we're on the road to... Uh, 11K now. Emmy Buendia still down, calling for some treatment. Or is that Dougie? No, that's Emmy. That's Emmy. Uh, Rhythm is a dancer's banger. That's the song, isn't it, Diego? Rhythm is a dancer. Anyone know the next line? <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Has Uno won a Manager of the Month trophy yet? No, he, he deserves it. I met a couple of Aston Villa ladies players on Sunday. Uh, I didn't get Elisa Lehman. She's not there. Uh, you might be right, Red Villain. You could get a little stat there. Oh, Robin. Robin. We've got Robin converted. We've converted someone else to a Villa fan. I love that I'm trying to convert people. I'm trying to convert people. A Villa and Wrexham. <laughs> so, a bit of an injury here. A bit of a stoppage. And uh, just want to sort of, you know, take it in that we're fifth in the Premier League. Fifth. Fifth. <laughs> Imagine saying when we played Fulham at Craven Cottage and we lost 3-0 and Dougie got sent off. Imagine if I turned around and said, hey, guys, don't worry after losing 3-0 to Fulham. We'll be fifth in the Premier League. We'll be fifth. We'll be fifth. Hey, come 25th of April, we'll be fifth. We'll be fifth. The 25th of April, we're, we're fifth in the Premier League. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Rhythm is a dancer. It's a soul's companion. You can feel it everywhere. Lift your hands and voices. Free your mind and join us. You can feel it in the air. Oh. Love that song. Love that song. Thank you, Duncan. Unai for manager of the season. Big up to uh, Fitton. He said, up the villa, sir. Uh, before kickoff, uh, Junior, before kickoff, I said Villa to win this 2-0. I went for a solid 2-0. Deckled over Reed, heads it, or crosses it in, Mings heads it away. Emmy Martinez comes and clears. How much better does that defence look with Emmy Martinez behind them? The confidence is there. What a throw that is into Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey's breaking. Ramsey into Watkins. Here comes Villa. Watkins on the edge of the box. Watkins shoots, and it's down the throat of Burnt Leno. He is confident. Where would we be if we still had Gerard Relegation. Look at Unai. It all starts from the goalkeeper, Emmy Martinez. Throws it out to Jacob Ramsey. What a throw that is as well. Ramsey's brave and strong. Breaks the lines. Counter-attack. We are bloody good at football, I'll tell you that for sure. We are bloody good at football. Uh, Bodlin said, on a serious note, oh Christ, here comes Fulham. Let me come to Bodlin's comment in a second as uh, Fulham go backwards into Palinia. Uh, Bodlin said, on a serious note, I asked back in December what was Villa's impression. You said finish top 10 and build from there. What Villa have done are unbelievable. Even though so yeah, cheers, Bods. It's true. It is absolutely true. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a passion. Oh, can feel it in the air. I love that song. It's actually a bang. I might have to play it on the way to work tomorrow. Uh, Fitton needs uh, Watkins to score for the FBL. He's been in a few times, old Ollie. He's just he's just sharpening up. Don't tell me Leeds have made it one 0 Don't ruin my don't ruin my evening. And tell me Leeds are one 0 up. I, can't, I, I, I hate Leeds. It's fine. Villa win him. Caden is coming. I told you, you did. You did. You bloody did. We can have finished top five. <laughs> Oh my days. We're class though. We are actually we're actually flying. We're actually flying. 
please uh, so, so sing at my sister's wedding. I'm not very keen. <laughs> Is it that bad, Christos? Well done, Emmy Martinez. Comes from the line. I'll ruin her wedding. Yeah, I've got a terrible singing voice. You do not get this shit on radio football commentary. No, we keep it spicy in here. Yeah, a bit of singing, a bit of chanting. As if it's Louis Siniesta as well. God's loving that. Big up, Oliver. I, right, I reckon Villa... Just what I reckon we're going to score in the 44th minute here. 2 0 before half time. A, before, a first half performance where we've absolutely dominated. What a pass that is from Buendia out to Moreno. We actually play sexy football. Like the interchangeable football that I see between some of these Villa players Buendia, Moreno, even like McGinn. He's just got this arrogance about him at the moment. Oh, I don't know if I can watch snooker. I don't know if I can get into it. You reckon Arsenal got a chance against Fulham? Bloody hell. <laughs> Arsenal could go on and lose the next three or four games. I'm not even bantering. I'm not even bantering. I worry for Arsenal, mentally. I'm so annoyed at Leicester. I'm so annoyed at Leicester dropping points. Come on, Dean Smith. Uh, big up Jay in Atlanta. Uh, I rate I rate Villa fit to finish fifth, then Brighton Pool, and then Spurs. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's not RP, Caden. That's not RP. Nah, NRP. NRP. Here's uh, Mings. Tyro Mings. Into Watkins. Here's Louise. Play him then. Louise. Go on, JJ. Ram Ramsey. He just. He's so raw in what he does, Ramsey. He doesn't have the fluidity of Emmy Buendia or Dougie Louise. He's a bit of a bitty stop start player, Ramsey. But there's a rawness about Ramsey. There's a rawness. And you've got to remember he's young still, isn't he? He's so young. But there's a rawness about him. Here's Buendia, edge of the box. Buendia fakes to shoot. Oh, he does shoot. Right, we need to make our next... Oh, and then he tries to steal it off, toss him. I don't know if Buendia should have passed it there. He's attempted a shot. He's attempted a shot. I don't know if he should have tried a little cheeky slider. As Solomon now plays through Dan James. This is dangerous for Fulham. Dan James versus Tyron Mings. Dan James cuts inside. Dan James... Luckily, his decision-making is terrible. Oh my god, that's terrible from Fulham. We're so lucky there. We are so lucky that Dan James is just a pace merchant. We are <laughs> absolutely lucky that Dan James is just a burst of pace and that's it. Look at this decision making. He dwells on the ball, goes inside, Villa get bodies. He can't make a decision, goes back to Solomon and they mix it up. Uh, June Ring still thinks Arsenal can do it. Jeez, oh wow. Uh, if we win, there's some confidence chance of getting a result against United. Uh, yeah, by the way, guys, I am at Old Trafford on Saturday, on Sunday. I am. There won't be a watch along for Villa on Sunday because I'm actually at Old Trafford for the game. Why is Craig Hicks resting? Oh, you hate Craig. You, you hate Craig Hicks. Agree. Bodlin, hear me out. Snooker and cricket class. Rugby is decent. Cricket's a good sport. I've never gone to snooker. Have less had a goal disallowed. They have. So annoyingly, Leeds are one up. Score predictions for City Arsenal. Manchester City 3, Arsenal 1. Yeah, I will, Christos, yeah. <laughs> Craig Hicks. One needs to win to help send Everton down. Ah, uh, cool. oh, I'm about Dean Smith and Leicester staying up. Mingzi swazzes it into Buendi. And look at the confidence of some of these players. Mings again. That's an audacious pass. That is an audacious pass. <laughs> Um, there will be a match day vlog on Sunday at Old Trafford, yeah. Mings, into Ollie Watkins. <laughs> you and fuming. Yeah, absolutely, Jason, I will do. Big up to uh, Stephen Major, who's just become a member in the house. Boom, big up, Stephen. Welcome to In The Gods. Thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Big up to Stephen. New member emoji. Smash it up, smash it in. Let me begin. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> and McGinn wins a foul there. How's the dog doing? He's just doing bits. He's just in front of... Uh, he's just in front of... Uh, Concer and uh, Mings. Just in front of Concer and Mings. Picking up the ball. Doing his defensive duties. Letting Dougie, Emmy, Ramsey and McGinn do their thing. Uh, do, you, do you think the lads are born to Unai style yet? They are loving Unai style. Do you know what the most important thing is as a new manager? When you come in, you need to win. You need to win games early. 
and then players believe in your tactics and, and, and your regime and everything you do. If it doesn't start well, players are like, mm, who is this guy? Look at Chelsea and Graham Potter. Yeah, he's come in, Chelsea, some dodgy results. Then they start questioning his beliefs, and it's never easy. John McGinn. John McGinn on the corner here. Pardon me. Robin. Once Man City comes around here, big up to Robin. <sighs> Yeah, you did say yesterday, didn't you, Robin? You did say yesterday. Here you go, then. McGinn in swinging corner. The corner comes in. Just misses Watkins. Here's JJ. Where are you going, JJ? Where are you going, JJ? JJ on the outside of Tete. <laughs> Loving the video emoji. Stephen Majors using that video emoji. You do need to win the dressing room. You need to prove your worth, really. You need to prove that you actually know what you're on about. Here's a Ramsey. Ramsey gives it to Buendia. Buendia, great little footwork into Dougie Louise. Louise now into the dunk. By the way, guys, we're aiming for uh, 100 likes. If you haven't hit that like button yet, then please do so. As the ball's played through, a bit of an overhit pass, and Burnt Leno gets it. Villa plays like they did against the Toon, and you're a rep mining too. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I forgot to say, um, because I haven't seen the chat, but obviously I see my mum in there. I weren't sure of it. Uh, but it is Chris Ring's birthday today, my dad's birthday. Chris Ring's birthday. So, uh, yeah, happy birthday to my dad. Uh, they're out in Turkey again. Surprise, surprise. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. But, yeah, big up to uh, big up to my dad and his birthday. Uh, <clears throat> big up Solly in L.A. Look at Solly living life in L.A. as well. Solly's in L.A. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Everyone's living the dream. Living the dream. Big up, Mr. MH Freak. Look at Bodlin. I don't even know that song. Coco Jambo. Don't even know it, mate. I'm sorry, I can't sing the tune. Here's Esri Concert. Back to Emmy Martinez. Two minutes. Villa have been in complete cruise control. Complete cruise control. And uh, Mings back with the ball on the edge of the box. Look at look at the way that Mings and Concert just have this confidence now where they put their foot on the ball and they're like, listen, we're we're the quarterbacks in this team. We dictate the tempo. We're the ones who decide when we're going to play forward. Tyron Mings, genuinely, I'm not even bantering now. He does give it away there. But Watkins steals off Polini and then a referee says he gives away a foul. I'm not even joking. Mings should be looked at at England again. I do know smooth operators now, yeah. Um... I think Ming should be getting a chance at England again. I really do. What about you guys in the chat? Do you actually think Tyron Mings deserves to be looked at again, taken seriously by Gareth Southgate? Over Harry Maguire, 1 million percent. If Eric Dyer gets that score, 1 million percent. He's better than Connor Cody, Maguire, Dyer. Who else gets an England called up these days who's a fraud? Yeah, we've been bo uh, bo bossing, bossing. <coughs> Absolutely, Caleb. V. Howard, very, very smart appointment. Yeah, honestly, Tyron Mings actually not getting in the England squad actually is winding me up. It's actually uh, winding me up a little bit, thinking about that. Here's the Ezri concert. We're going to see how much added time we've got. Yeah. Nathan, 100% Mings has been so good on do now. Yeah, they do this. And, and cons. And Ezri, and that's why people are saying, why aren't we seeing Diego Carlos in the side? Well, how do you drop comps from Mings in the form that we're on? I love it. I'll listen to that, Bodlin. Yeah, I agree, Rob. I was doubting comps a little bit. But he has, he has, he's got his head screwed on. Look at Fulham. They're not even pressing us. Honestly, comps and Mings and uh, Emmy Martinez are playing keep ball. It's like the only three players on the pitch. Three minutes added on time. This is actually quite weird. Villa aren't actually playing forward. We're waiting for Fulham to come out of their shape. But Unai Emery said, this is the way you play football. This is the intelligent way. This is the Spanish way, as he goes into the donk. This is actually the Spanish way, where you try and suck the opponents to come and press you. So the back three in, in Martinez, Mings and Conza dictate the play. They've sucked the pressure up from Fulham. Fulham are pressing us now. Villa are trying to play out. Conza does play out into Ashley Young. And Villa get out of this press. Unbelievable. And McGinn wants a foul and wins it. That is... That's Unai ball right there. 
If anyone wants to know what Unai Emery ball is, it's right there, right? For two minutes, Villa kept the ball between Emmy Martinez, Tyro Mings and Ezri Konza. Mings was literally putting his studs on the ball and just standing there saying, is anyone going to come and smash us? Konza was doing the same. Fulham weren't going to go and press. Fulham literally just sat there and going, we'll watch you. We'll watch you. You can have the ball. Well, you can't do that all game, Fulham. We're 1-0 up. They eventually come and press us, and we bop their press. We just play out of it. It's unbelievable, the confidence in this Villa team. Like, this is how you play football. And Unai Emre said, the centre-halves are the most important players because they dictate the play, and we have to slow the ball down sometimes. We don't need to rush it. We don't need to rush it. Let's find our space. This is what I love about... Um, that, that, this is what I love about Unai Emre and this, this side. We, we are literally dominating games and Moreno's just been fouled there by Bobby Deckel, David Reed, and he's going to get a yellow card and Marco Silva the Fulham manager is uh, orchestrating his uh, frustrations but Emre Ball is unbelievable on the wings of love Josh we're flying we absolutely are we need to capitalise on it yeah I, look uh, uh, it's hard we could do a capitalise on it but I'm happy win control it is intelligent football it is um no worries, Red Villain. No worries. Not happy, though. Playing like we're 3-0 up. Remember Brentford last season? 2-0 up and didn't we draw on the end? Danny Al, come on. Come on. And Unai, I trust. It's the game plan. It's starve them of a ball. I know they only need one chance, but it's confidence. <laughs> What's happened to Coutinho? He's out hurt, injured. Big up to Kate and Jonathan as well. Um, look, Fulham have lost two key players in this game. William before kickoff. And um, Harry Wilson went off what after about eight minutes. So yeah, it's it's two it's two um, big players to miss. Dan James starting. I just I knew it. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope West Ham win tomorrow night. <laughs> I know. I, bl I really want Leicester to win. Here's Moreno into Ramsey. Ramsey crosses. McGinn. Back post. McGinn. Header. Burt Leno spills it. There's a corner. Villa were attacking at the back post. We still look like we're going to score. We still look like we're going to score a couple. This is what... I'm, uh, I'm so relaxed. Here's Ashley Young. Ashley Young crosses. Maybe I'm too relaxed. Maybe I'm like the Villa players. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm too relaxed because I'm loving this performance. And there is the half-time whistle. There is the half-time whistle. I bloody love that first half. I absolutely love that first half. That first half was great. That first half had everything for me. Control, dominance, excitement, free-flowing attacking football. That's all I want as a Villa fan. That's all I want. Only criticism is we're not two or three in a lap. That's all, that's all, the only criticism I can give, that we're not two or three in a lap. Dan James, honestly, his decision making is crazy, crazy, crazy bad. There was a moment there where Dan James was in behind, Tyron Ming slowed him down, and then James literally got to the edge of the box and pooed himself. He literally pooed himself. He dribbled about 20 yards that way, lost the ball. They are missing a, a, a threat, and, it, and it's no coincidence that Fulham's form's dropped when Mitro's been away. Nathan W, I'm trying to stay quietly confident and humble about how well Villa are doing here, but saying that, I think uh, with you now as manager, we haven't had a time where I said, yeah, listen... I'm actually, I've gone from like being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've been someone who's always downplayed Villa and tried not to get too hyped and excited sometimes. But what I'm seeing right now is unbelievable. Um, mate, Fulham are now 18 to 1 to win this. The bookies know. She sums it up. Uh, what do I have my tea tonight? Adam Cox said. I had a, I had a, I had a ready meal, a chicken and pasta ready meal. It, I got in at six thirty-five because I had a football fixture with the school, so I had a year ten football fixture, uh, and it was away, so I had to drive the minibus there and back. Got to my car about six, bombed at home, got home here six thirty. Had to quickly set this up, and then basically, <laughs> luckily, didn't have to cook. I had a ready meal, so yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it's a bit hungry now, actually. Um, no, not quite, literally. <laughs> Mitro loss is a massive blow for Fulham indeed, yeah. He shouldn't have done what he did, though. Um, but this is a great era. Uh, figuratively, I agree, Robin. Um, but, listen, uh, did the Year 10s win? No, they lost 2-1.
2-1 uh, to Castle. Played on a sand-based Astro as well, um, which is always a terrible put pitch to play on. Uh, but they were a better side. They just... Castle had two chances scored. We didn't take our chances. We didn't take our chances against Castle. So, yeah, they're not in the final. That was the semi-final. Um, but, yeah, I don't know where to go get some Doritos. I mentioned them. Um, there you go. Um, but, yeah... I am, as I said, I am at Old Trafford um, this weekend. Um, I've been given um, a ticket from uh, a guy called Khalid Offside. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, I've been on his channel before for like an interview. Uh, Khalid, a great guy, great guy, lives in Ireland. Um, lives in Ireland and he has a season ticket at Manchester United, but he can't always go to games. So he's really kind and gives his ticket away. Um, uh... <laughs> we would have won who let us do fix it, yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, he's given his ticket away, and with his ticket, um, he has um given it to me, he gives it to subscribers. So, this is the hard thing, guys. I want you to picture this, right? And you guys know me well and how excited I get with goals. I'm in the home end, I'm in the home end on Sunday, I'm literally bang on the halfway line at Old Trafford. In the home end. I obviously can't wear my Villa stuff. I can't obviously show that I'm a Villa Villa fan. Uh, I'm in the home end. Am I in a world of trouble? You know me. I find it hard uh, to contain my emotions. And if we score... <sighs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm in a world of trouble, aren't I? Um... I was thinking about doing a vlog for it as well. Um, he wants me to do a vlog. Um, I see if I can get a video on his YouTube channel, by the way. Let me see if I can get a video on his YouTube channel because he actually, um, he sent me the, um, he sent me what it's like, where I am, the seat and everything. Let's have a quick look. Let's see if we can get this. Um, let's see if I can get this video to show you. Let's see if I can get this video to show you. Uh, where am I going? Messages. Um, right, let's have a look. But yeah, we'll definitely be thanking um, uh, Khalid for uh, uh, what he's done. Right, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Who wants to see it? Who wants to see the, uh, the, the, the view? Let's see if I can get the view um, of what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I can't turn this down. Uh, but what I am worried about is my ability to not celebrate goals. Um, that that's um, they're gonna put you up. So yeah, we we basically got. I've got to try and make it. Uh, I've got to try and make it like I am a United fan, basically. But when I'm vlogging, how am I meant to do that? Wave of Paul and Simon and Josh are scatter. Um, but um, you're not gonna say it because Villa. <coughs> Well, no, 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 no. We are actually going to beat Man United. I'm very confident. This is why I'm worried. This is actually why I'm worried, guys, because um, um, <laughs> this is why I'm worried, because I think we're going to actually beat Man United quite convincingly, um, which is going to be difficult. So here is the view from the stands. Uh, here is the view from the stands. Uh, I should try and get it to work. I've just got to press this, I think. Right. Are you ready, folks? This is how I do my um, AVFTS racks as well. Right, here's Khalid's video. Are you ready? This is the view. This is the view. Um, so, oh, it's like the Manchester, it's the Manchester suite. It's the Manchester suite. Uh, do I wear the Villa shirt underneath? I think I have to, don't I? So this is the view that I'm going to have. So we go in the Manchester suite and um, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks great. Um, so he's obviously filmed this um, to show. I mean, look at how sick that looks. Look how sick that looks. There's a bit of Sir Bobby Charlton in there. I mean, we're going in quite posh. <laughs> Pretty good for the vlog, wouldn't it? Villa fan gets chased out of uh, VIP lounge, but then he would lose a ticket, and I don't want to do that. Um, no man can't sense of fear. Look at this. Look at this. Cool. It looks good, doesn't it? We're going to be living the dream. Yeah, obviously, that's Khalid, obviously, um, with his there. Oh, look at this. I think I've got a pay food. I need to check with him. I need to check with him. But I'd be mad to turn this down, wouldn't I? I'd be mad to turn this down. 
What are we thinking in the chat? What are we thinking? It's pretty mad, isn't it? I don't know, Robin. Maybe I'll buy a United hat to put on. Maybe I'll just buy a United hat when I'm there, blend it in. And then you've got to see the seat. You've got to see the seat. The seat's banging, by the way. It's like an unbelievable view of Old Trafford. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. This is the seat. This is the seat I'm getting. Look at this. Look at that for a view. It's basically on the halfway line. Villa fans are going to be in that opposite corner. Literally where the camera is now is where Villa fans are going to be. Yeah, right in that corner flag over there is where the Villa fans are going to be. So I'm literally going to, I'm literally going to see Villa fans. Um, and then obviously there's the Stretford end. So yeah, there is Khalid. Big up to Khalid, by the way, and um, we'll be we'll be definitely thanking him for uh, everything that he's uh, uh, done for us in that sense. So yeah, we're uh, we're all in. We're all in. I'm a bit of a nutter for going, really, aren't I? Um, nice little seats there. He says I'm sat next to an old woman who loves it. So yeah, um, that's that's where we're at, guys. That that is where we are at uh, on Sunday. So, am I enough for doing that? Am I going to be able to cope? Um, or literally, uh, am I making a big story? Uh, I will unsubscribe if you wear any United gear. I'll try and put this on underneath. Um, but there we go. There we go. What do you want about, man? Um, just celebrate, Josh. Great views for Watkins hat trick. Absolutely. I'm at home end as well on Sunday, buddy. <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, hopefully I, I was going to try and meet Super Matty as well, who who, who goes to the home away games, um, take some Villa stickers, wear your Villa shirt underneath. It's a lucky shirt. I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? I think I'm going to have to. I'm uh, going to wear the shirt underneath. Um, well, my mistakes in our youth do not agree. <laughs> Man, you has to play away at Brighton after Villa, and Brighton at home is a nightmare. Agree. Um, so, so there we go. Um, what we're going to do then is just have a quick look at the stats, but. So yeah, um, I don't know what to do. Um, it's got to be a vlog, hasn't it? It's got to be a vlog. It's got. It's got to be a pull the shirt. Out. To be fair, Villa do. Uh, no, the thing is, my issue is, is that I can't. I can't mess up his seat, right? Because you got to remember the season tickets in his name. It's in Khalid's name. He's trusted me to sort of go there and uh, enjoy it. Uh, I don't want to ruin. I don't want to ruin. Um, his reputation for his seat basically so uh yeah i've got to uh i've got to i've got to be careful of that uh, uh if you're in the strength then yes you probably get a kick or two but where you are yeah it's gonna be civil it's more about like you know uh people uh um for goodness sakes don't be singing along with the villa fans yeah i'm gonna be like shoot i'm gonna be like <laughs> you're empty i'm gonna be like humming it oh no i'm gonna be like looking around aren't i but yeah the, the vlog should be interesting that's all i'm gonna say you'll see me uh and uh josh you can wear a man you scarf and out in a village and celebrate but yeah i don't think i can celebrate united beating us though gracie this is gracie this is crunch time right we need every point we can get we want to be getting european football so i can't be celebrating anything man united i really can't um but yeah um but yeah i um i'll do what i can I'll do what I can. I will do what I can um, to do this. So, uh, quick look then at the current standings. Let's just remind ourselves that we're... Let's have a quick look at the stats, sorry. And then we'll look at the uh, current standings. So, here we go. Stats. Uh, so, here's the current stats of the game. Interesting again. Expected goals is low, as you would expect. Um, imagine that, Solly. That would be pretty nuts. Um, that would be pretty nuts. Um expected goals 0.49 as our expected goals and expected assists is 0.37 we've had 67 percent ball possession compared to fulham's 33 fulham had one shot which was in the first 20 seconds of the game none on target look at us we've had nine shots only three on target got to convert them um got to convert them and um and yeah that that's interesting that is interesting um Yeah, sorry. And uh, there we go. 
Um, but the corners as well, seven corners, guys, seven corners, seven corners, um, seven corners. That's a lot of corners. That's that's a lot of corners. That is actually a lot of corners. Um, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, a league table then. The league table that matters. The league table that matters. Okay. Oh, I'll just move myself to the middle. Here we are, people. Fifth. We are fifth. We are absolutely fifth. We are fifth. We are... The thing is, top four is not doable, is it? Top four... Top four is not doable. Top four is not doable. I don't think top four is doable. 54, three games on Man United, five points. Unless you beat United, then it starts looking... I really do think we'll finish above Spurs. It's Liverpool. Liverpool have two games on hands enough, and we're four points clear as it stands. Um... I don't know. Can we do it? Can we get... Can we get... Fourth? No. No, I've got to stop dreaming. I've got to stop getting carried away. I've got to stop getting carried away. We're not going to get fourth. We're not going to get fourth. But we're going to get top seven. We've got to keep it like that. We've got to keep it real. We've got to keep it real. Um, I don't know. I just don't... I just, does anyone actually... Right. Tell him your scores is nephew. <laughs> Does anyone actually think we can get top four? Come on. Surely not. Surely not. I need to quickly go to the toilet before the, the second half starts. So don't get anywhere. Uh, ready for a brilliant second half, I hope, and a few more goals. Uh, but yeah, I want to know two questions. Do you think we can get top four? Is there anyone actually believes? And what is your final score prediction for the game? I'll be back in 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. progress so far for both of these clubs. Villa right now, 14 points better off compared to this stage last season when they were 11. They were 18 at this stage of their life. Can you read their pain? I wonder why. Oh, no. I think that's the first. I've just missed the... Uh, oh, just missed there. 14 seconds behind. Not too bad. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, we're going to go on to win this. Hopefully, quite convincingly. Um... And I back us. I do back us to do this today. I do back us to do this today. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we go on and win. But uh, yeah, what what is happening uh, to Leicester City? I need them to beat Leeds. I need them to beat Leeds. We can't look at Leeds. We cannot look at Leeds. We can't look at Leeds. But um, yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. And a big up to you. How far can Brighton go up? Brighton are a dangerous team as well. I wonder if that FA Cup semi-final is going to hurt them. Uh, I wonder if that FA Cup semi-final is going to hurt them. I don't know. I don't know. All one nils in the Prem. All one nils in the Prem, eh? Come on, Leicester. Turn it around second half. Here's Ashley Young. Kicks it forward. No changes by the looks on either side. Um, as you would expect, I wasn't expecting any Villa changes. It's not the Unai way, especially when playing well. Ooh. And uh, that's going to be a free kick for Villa. Does anyone see Leicester um, turn it around against Leeds? Or do you think Leeds are mentally, uh, you know, going to bounce back from this? What do you think, people? What do you think? Do let me know. But we're ready to go. 2-0 to Villa. I, I did say 2-0 before the game. I did say 2-0 uh, before the game. And I'm sticking to 2-0. I think it's, uh, it's a good scoreline prediction for us. Um, look, I expect to goals again. 0.49. We're not, I don't know what it is. I know people obsess over those sort of stats. But honestly, honestly, it doesn't bother me. As long as we go and win football games, our expected goals can be as low as it wants. As Mings goes into Emmy Martin as Villa playing out from the back. Uh, 
Man U Spurs on Thursday. Yeah, that's a big one. Do we want? Who do we? I think a draw would be a good result, isn't it? What do we want in a Man U Spurs sort of? Um, what do we want in a Man U Spurs score prediction? Genuine question. What do we want in a Man U Spurs score prediction? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does. It does. Brighton's fix list is mad. Jason reckons it will finish 1-0 Leeds. Leeds aren't used to gritty performances, are they? But at Ellen Road, that can help. Andy Martinez now kicks forward. Big up to Craig Jefferson, who's just subscribed. Thank you. As Jacob Ramsey brings it down. JJ goes down and wins another free kick. We've done well at winning those little free kicks um, in around the halfway line tonight. Useful ones as well. Useful. Draw is best of it, I imagine. I was thinking that. <laughs> Robin wants them both to lose. Oh, unlucky Robin. <laughs> Pox holiday. Pox, I've just seen your message come from on Twitter. I will respond to that, um, buddy. Uh, thanks, Pox. And yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Here's uh, Dougie Louise then. Dougie Louise rolls it into uh, Esri Concer. Concer back to Louise. And uh, Villa continues to play as Tyra Mings has it. Mings now forward into Moreno. Moreno tries to slide it down the line to Ramsey. And uh, the ball nearly goes out for a corner, but it's actually going to be throwing. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Would you want me to do a watch along for Man U Spurs on Thursday? Would you guys tune in if I did a watch along for Man U Spurs? I'm not sure. Would people? I don't know. I don't know. It does interest Villa, doesn't it, in that sense, as Moreno loses control of the ball. How hard is Wrexham going? Premier League, agree, Stephen. All the way. All the way. Spurs with his 4 now. Yeah, you guys, yeah, put in the chat yes if you would tune in to, uh, if you would, uh, if you want me to do a Man U Spurs. I know we're going off the Villa, Wrexham, Rangers sort of tangent, but big games, I said, I would definitely do. Yeah, a few of you would be in keen for it. <laughs> Here's Conta. Conta now. Yeah, sounds good. Here's into uh, Doggy Louise. Doggy Louise, twisting and turning. Goes into Mings. Mings, clips it. Next chance for Villa we've got to take. Next chance for Villa we've got to take. Just to make sure we don't give Fulham any way of getting into this game as Conson now. Goes into Buendia. Buendia. <sighs> Loses the ball. Emmy, come on, man. Oh, it's a late one. Oh, that's annoying. That slightly put me off. Miss reckons 3 1 second half. Here's Tim Ream. Cut out by Ashley on. Out ball, surely. Oh, Lino, he's giving it Fulham. Ashley on, not happy. Ashley on, not happy. Yes, we do, Jason. Yeah. We've got to play Spurs, Manu, Brighton, and Liverpool, I believe. The ball played over the top. Conta. And uh, it's going to be a throw in there. 3 <laughs> 2 Arsenal. Christ. Mm. Cheers, Carlo. <laughs> Absolutely sorry. Big up to everyone in here. Here's uh, Young. But this is, this is what I've come accustomed to. Hopefully, I'm worried now. Can Villa back up this. The first half was excellent. Can Villa back this up now in the second half? Can we back it up? Can we can we show that that wasn't just a little fluke? That we we really do have a good rhythm. That we we do control games and that we can, you know, almost take teams to the sword whenever we desire or want to. I, I want to know. I want to know. But yeah, smash that like button. <coughs> uh, no, uh, tomorrow I am really busy. Tomorrow, really busy. I've got an SLT meeting. I won't be. I, w I just I won't get home till. Seven tomorrow. I won't get home till seven o'clock tomorrow. Otherwise, I would have. To be fair, if it was Thursday night, I'd have been Roy Keane for it. But yeah, I, I'm not getting home till uh, seven. Steven Major, not too much. Slow start. Slow start um, in the second half of Villa, but we're just getting a feel for it. Zemi passes it out to Ashley Young. Oh God! Young tries to play a pass back to Concer, gets in a bit of trouble, and Young actually puts it out for a corner. And now Ashley Young and Emmy Martinez are arguing. Young was acting to Emmy like he didn't want the ball. Bloody hell! Villa have got a corner to defend here. 
But Villa have got a corner to defend it. We've just gifted Fulham a, a corner. I like the Spurs game. It's four games this season. Three hundred. You know, and I've even seen a win or a draw. Yeah. Here's Pereira. That is sloppy from Villa. Pereira swings it in. Deep one. Toss in. Keeps it alive. Cleared though. Thank goodness for that. I didn't want us conceding a really poor goal from a, a mistake from Ashley Young there. Here's Robertson. Villa with a really high line. Who's organising? Tyron Mings. You can see him organising, pointing. And uh, oh my god, Tete. And it's going to be a goal kick. Yeah, who, who have not? Oh, look at Tete and Dougie Luis squaring up. Um, well, when's that? When's that, Stephen Taylor? I know Wrexham got talky the last game of the season, which would be awesome. Dougie's a little hot headed, really, isn't he? Look at the way he bounced into Tete there. He, he, Dougie Luis sometimes, you think, just calm down, mate. Calm down. Uh, Oh, here he is, Carly. Carly, we—I um, showed your video. I showed your video at halftime, mate. Um, here's Carly. I've told everyone in here about the experience on Sunday. I've showed your video of the the seat. So unbelievable. Here's uh, Ashley Young. Ashley Young now knocking it long to John McGinn. And uh, big up from from doors to door, uh, from doors to door. Yeah, I've said that right. Good name, Matt. From doors to doors. So yeah. So yeah, big up Carl Eid. Big up Carl Eid. Think Chambers on for Young. He he likes that. It'll be. Fo I can imagine he'll do the same triple change. Moreno, Young. Who was the other one? Was it Ramsey he took off? I imagine that will happen again, guys. I can imagine Unai doing another triple change um, about 65 70 minutes in. That's true, dupes. <laughs> Here is Ashley Young. Young throws it. And uh, it's cleared from uh, Tossin. And. Uh, Harrison Reed now plays it forward. Come on, the Villa. Here comes John McGinn. John McGinn driving forward. <laughs> Sorry, John. And uh, it is a corner to Villa. We love our corners. We've been good at our corners today. Hey, big up, Curved. How are you, my friend? Duran on for the last five as well. Yeah, probably. Villa kicking Arsenal again. We're, we're, we're smashing it, Curve. We're smashing it. Here is John McGinn then. <laughs> Fit right in. <laughs> McGinn swings it in. Oh, Concer and Mings at that front post again. It's a really good accurate corner there from John McGinn. Really right on the noggin of uh, Concer and Mings. And the Fulham defender clears it. Emmy Martinez now into Jacob Ramsey. Ramsey. Ramsey trying to go forward. Into Mings. Mings brilliant into Buendia. Referee give us a foul there. Hasn't. Oh my God. Fulham are in. Dan James on the right hand side. Dougie Louise comes across. Dan James luckily again has no idea what to do with the ball. And luckily Dougie Louise is there to make life difficult for him. Uh, Adam Cox is all over the place. <laughs> um. <laughs> Here's uh, Tim Ream. Into Deckel Dover Reed. Deckel Dover Reed into Tete. Tete back to uh, Deckel Dover Reed. He faints one. Jacob Ramsey just holds him up. Tete. Back into Tossin Adrabio. Here's Tim Ream. I now have internet at home. Oh, amazing curve. Really happy about that, mate. Good to hear. <laughs> Uh, Roy, we we were absolutely boss in the first half, Roy. Boss in the first half. And there no real problems. Ah, that's a poor pass there from Pereira trying to play it into Robinson and pass it straight out for throw. Uh, second half has been a bit more cagey. Um, so, yeah, second half, we've been a bit more cagey. A bit like the Brentford game, to be fair, where we couldn't quite get a flow going in the second half. Um, but... At the same time, at the same time, we we look competent. Um, and when you know you've got Emmy Martinez and go, not Robin Olsen, that's the big difference, isn't it? Um, 
Um, so yeah, the ball played forward. Conta pushes it out, and uh, I take it you're reveling, James. No, I don't want to. I don't want to slander Dan James too much, right? Because if he goes and scores, I'm going to look like the biggest idiot on the internet. Um, so, so there we go. <laughs> Adam Cox stink. I like that. Yeah, Emmy's bat. It's massive for Villa. Um, who are we going to sign in the summer then? I'd love Harvey Barnes to kick things off or Matoma. Bloody hell. I, I can't see Matoma come to us. Barnes would be a great shout. <laughs> Here's Harrison Reed. Fulham are growing into this game though, guys. And uh, Daniel's right. We do need to pick up the pace a bit. Here's Tete. And, uh, yeah, true, I've been slagging off. <laughs> we aren't, um, we aren't creating, though, and, and that's the Uno way, is that he did say we aren't creating enough chances, we're creating one or two chances. Um, but, I don't know, Fulham, are, Fulham have probably got to take some confidence from the second half. They're, they're, they're looking, um, they're looking okay, Fulham. They've got a bit more belief. They're just showing that Ming's goal again. <coughs> I love it, Tyrone. Love it. <laughs> Look at Unai. Unai loved that goal. Here's Moreno. <laughs> Moreno looking for Oli. Ramsey picks up the seconds. Ramsey through to Oli Watkins. Watkins' touch is heavy, though. And it goes through to Burnt Leno. I really thought Villa would get in there. He wasn't feeling very well, Adam. Uh, Cameron Archer, don't expect to see in a Villain shirt. What's going to change? He wants game time in a Premier League. It's not going to happen, guys. Unai made that clear. Unai doesn't want, like... Unai got rid of Danny Ings because he wanted to make Ollie Watkins his number one and put everything in Ollie Watkins. Like, Cam Arch is going to have the same experience. Fulham trying to grow on this right-hand side, and they do pick it up through Deckel Dover Reed into Harrison Reed. And... Uh, as I said, a little part of me is just looking at Fulham growing into this game. Could do with Villa regaining possession and controlling it. We haven't really had as much of the ball second half. In fact, let me compare. Um, let me compare the second half stats for possession because if you look at possession, yeah, it's dropped massively. It's 50. It's 55-45 now. They're growing back into it. Whereas first half, it's 67-33. Villa had 67% possession first half. Second half has gone down to 55. So. That just shows Fulham getting back into swing of it. <laughs> yeah, 20 consecutive games we've scored. Dan James twisted and turning. Stand your feet. Dan James and Conser swings it away. Hey, big up Chris Benton. I hope you're well. And Villa win a free kit, luckily. Yeah, Tyro Mings. He got some real... He had, he's had some real... Highs in an Aston Villa shirt, and he's also come under some real tough times in an Aston Villa shirt from Villa fans, his own fan base, and he's rode that wave superbly. And let's just remember, he got left in the gutter by Gareth Southgate as well. And he's, I think, he's got an incredible character, Tyrone Mings, mentally very strong, incredible character. Um, and I like Tyrone Mings a lot, <laughs> yeah, all good, thank you, Chris. Here's Ramsey goes down. I wonder if Uno is going to change this. I wonder if Uno is going to make a change in the next, what, five minutes or so. It's not quite flowing, and Jacob Ramsey has really hurt his Achilles there. Is he going to get back on his feet? No. No, he's not. Fulham weren't going to kick the ball out either, uh, which is a bit of a <coughs> poor thing to do. But the referee has stopped play, so Fizzo is coming on. But I'm showing some intent. They are, Brain. Tyrone Mings is the best thing to set about out there, my eyes. He's bent. Tyrone's played excellent this season under um, Unai. Absolutely excellent. Any chance at Leicester City of pulling your finger out and doing Leeds over? I predicted Leeds to get one win in their last eight games. This goes against my prediction, which will be annoying, but there we go. Palace v West Ham Saturday, the BT Sport early game. Not gonna lie, it's not the most entertaining, is it? Real Madrid, Man City, Tuesday night for May. Cool. Tyrone to Arsenal. <laughs> not bad, that. Yeah. Ramsey's just getting treatment here. Hopefully, he'll be okay. 
Could be Traore time. Yeah, Ramsey for Traore. <laughs> Could be happening. <sighs> that doesn't excite me, though. I'm sorry, but Bertie doesn't excite me. I know he scored that amazing goal against Leicester, and we all love him, but Bertie, like, how often does he... Um, how often does he go missing in a game? You don't even notice Bertie's on the pitch sometimes until he pops up with a worldie. Uh, no, I won't be Gracie. No. <sighs> John Gregory and now Unai. I mean, Unai for me is... I mean, I'm comparing from my era. Martin O'Neill, Dean Smith, and Unai Amre. They're the three. And if I had to rate them, Unai's got to be right up there. Yeah, uh, Duran won't be on, mate. Pete is. I'm afraid to say that John Duran is, is quite clearly not in Unai's thinking at all this season. The lack of use of uh, John Duran has been very clear. We all let it. We all let it. Yeah, we're back on the way now. Tim Ream goes in to toss him. <laughs> um, Brian Little wasn't my uh, era there, unfortunately. I think it's hard to call him a flop because he actually hasn't had the game time, Gracie. <laughs> I think call him a flop. Being a flop, you actually have to like play a bit <laughs> and not be very good. Um, John Duran just hasn't played enough. John McGinn again bulldozes away to a free kick. Oh, I love McGinn so much. I actually love John McGinn. Like, I want McGinn to be my mate. Like I said, McGinn, should we run for a brick wall together? Are you, are you probably like, yeah, why not? Blokes hard as nails. Here's Mings. And to Ramsey. Ah, this is this is not good from Villa. We've dropped off. I went from being on like a beach in the Caribbean, smoking a cigar. I was that comp with some whiskey or rum. More like rum, not whiskey. I was so confident that we were gonna get a result here and we were playing so well and now we're just dropping off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think he has limited English, Roy, actually, yeah. And he's only 19. Uh, but, yeah, wh why can't we get control of this second half? Why can't we get control of this second half? Trying to work out how Fulham just raise their game. Were we complacent? Um, were Fulham really poor in the first half? I don't know. I'm just trying to work this out in my head right now. <laughs> We can't regain the ball. We can't retain the ball. Um, if I look again now, possession. Second half, Fulham have got more possession than us. 51% possession to Fulham to our 49. We've gone from having 67% possession to now 49% possession. Big drop off. Tells you everything you need to know. Here's Harrison Reed. Reed crosses. Chance of the back post. McGinn, though, strong and gets a foot to it. Vinicius getting ready to come on. Yeah. Fulham are, are flowing. They're sensing something. Oh, I love a bit of rum. <laughs> yeah. Here's Deco David Reed trying to find Dan James. He's not on his wavelength. And Buendia there to intercept. Buendia trying to find Ollie Watkins. And Villa cannot retain the freaking football. Right, Josh is getting wound up now. I'm getting wound up. Fulham are going to make a triple change. They sense it. They sent something here. Come on, Villa. Just retain the freaking football. Retain the freaking football. And maybe, maybe. I just hate our bench, though, guys. Our bench is so uninspiring offside there for Fulham. This is the thing. I look at our bench and go, what? Who's going to change this game? Bertrand Traore and John Duran really are not the answers. Right, triple change. Please keep Dan James on. Please, Marco Silva. Keep Dan James on. I beg. Uh, Solomon's coming off. Tate's coming off. Oh, he is actually keeping him on. 
So Tom Can is coming on. So for number 30, Vinicius. Uh, 12, Cedric and Tankani. 12, Cedric. And 10, Canny for Pereira. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. These are the changes then for Fulham. So Fulham's line up now on the screen, guys. Um... Leno, Cedric, Adrabaya, Reem, Robinson, Palinia, Reed, Kenny, Reed, Deckel Dave Reed, that is, Vinicius, and Dan James. <coughs> Dan James stays on. Dan James stays on. Is that going to haunt me? <laughs> is that going to haunt me? Oh, um, oh, Unai and Trust is the players right now, Gracie. It's the players, not Unai. Nothing to do with Unai, this. Players. Players have shown us what they can do in the first half. Oh, my God. Emmy Martin is playing out from the back into a concert. This is nothing about me not trusting Unai. This is about the players needing to switch on because they were very consistent in the first 45 minutes. And they've shown us that. Unai hasn't changed anything. <laughs> uh, Fulham have got one sub left. Fulham have got one sub left. No movement on the Villa bench in Uno, I trust. <laughs> Clearly doesn't think it's the right time for a sub yet. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is nothing to do with the gaffer. This is nothing to do with the manager right now. This is the players. Players have dropped their, their quality. Ollie Watkins wins it back off Tossin. Ollie Watkins, ha! Then he loses the ball. Come on, Ollie. Robinson, Fulham, grooving, playing. Here comes Dan James. Stay away. Oh. Luckily, he can't cross a road. Literally crosses the ball out for a goal kick. That's how bad Dan James's cross was. He picks it up on his left foot and crosses it. And it's so horrible. Goes out for a goal kick. Um, right. Villa have the ball. Can we retain this ball from this goal kick? Um, seriously. Um... We need to retain the ball. We need to take the sting out of Fulham. We've got to take the sting out of Fulham. The players did this in the first half, so we, we must be able to do the second half. As Emmy's clipping it long and direct into McGinn. McGinn wants a foul and gets it. We get a foul on the halfway line, luckily. Nearly didn't get it. Uh, maybe the players could be tired. Yeah, they've put in a shift against Brentford. Remember, this is the third, um, third game in a row that Unai hasn't changed the team. Uh, we don't use our subs much because I'll say it again, Unai has a limited cards on the bench. Um, why do I not just be happy with a 1 0 come it? Yeah. <coughs> Definitely been told to save themselves, probably. We were in cruise control. He can't cross a road, Robin. Dan James wouldn't be able to cross a road if you asked him to. Right, Dan. This, the, even if the road was shut for cars, Dan James would still struggle to cross the road. Look at Unai. Unai's on the side. Unai's giving his magic hands, his washing machine hands. You know, like a washing machine. <laughs> Unai's washing machine hands are going like that. He's saying, come on, sort yourselves out. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think tiredness isn't a bad shout, to be fair. <laughs> I, think, I think that's not a bad shout. You know, unchanged 11s constantly. Um, but, again, you trust this 11. The ball played through and the Emi Arsene there. Sometimes you don't want to change an 11 and you don't want to make too many changes because players know their roles and players know what's expected of them. Um, yeah, Unai has worked up. I think, um, yeah, I'll take anyone to be fair. Red Villain is better than Olsen. Um, yeah, I, I do wonder, I do, I do wonder, like, sometimes you make dramatic changes... It can kill a flow. We've got under 20 minutes left, guys. We are still... But despite all of Fulham's gain in possession, they haven't tested Emi Martinez. They haven't looked like they've really threatened us. Young into Buendia. Better. Emi Buendia hit. Emi Buendia knocked off the ball. You're right, Brain. He's looking lethargic. He's just lost the ball there again. Moreno wins it back. I think, I think we're going to have to throw on one of the... One of the un, uh, underwhelming attackers in Bertie or John Duran. McGinn into Watkins. 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 Finish this game off, Ollie. Wally. Ollie. Ollie. Over the bar. Oh, Ollie. 
Oli! Oli, Oli, Oli! What a pass that is from McGinn. He gets that tossing in by one on one, squares him up, goes on the outside, lifts the ball. Does tossing get a block on that? Does tossing get a block on that? How's that not a corner? How's that not a corner? I swear tossing blocks that. <laughs> but there we go. Ollie hits it over the bar then, according to referee. Ah, that's the chance. Yeah, you should be right, Robin, to be fair. Ah, oh, McGinn wins it. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking because it's all through John McGinn. McGinn into Buendia. Buendia crosses. Tame cross from Buendia. Buendia looks like his legs are gone. Maybe we're going to have to get Bertie on for Buendia. Oh, dear. Look at McGinn. He's just giving Villa a little bit more energy again. John McGinn's just lifted Aston Villa a bit with his with his tackles. I do think Bertie's going to come on in a second. I think I can see him now stripped and ready. Um, as uh, Ashley Young gets booked for that tackle on Dan James. <laughs> to be fair, she'll just let Dan James run to the box. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> then he would have got to the oh uh, yeah it's that is it the triple change again Luca Dean's going to come on as well by the looks of it <laughs> curved <laughs> oh yeah Buendia's look at Dan James running in behind there he wanted the ball <laughs> sorry I got I got to stop with my Dan James slander because he's going to score in the ninety he's, he's going to score in the ninety plus minute isn't he he's going to score in the ninety plus minute here's Harrison Reed into Cedric, the Arsenal legend. Mings, oh Christ. Moreno and Mings putting Villa under pressure. Buendia battling against Kearney. Here's John McGinn. McGinn now, what a pass that is into Young. That's so calm. That is so calm. As Watkins now loses the ball. We're going to make a double change. Here's Tom Kearney. Kearney crosses, looking for Deckel Dover Reed. Fulham in Villa's box. Deckel Dover Reed, stand here, Fulham. Deal with this. Cross comes in, charge to the back post, and Ashley Young does enough, and guess who was looking at the back post? It was Dan James. Dan James bottled it at the back post. <laughs> and Young clears it. He might. Nah. He wouldn't be able to make a decision, Robin, whether to knock on the door or not. Dan James would get to my house, and then his decision-making would be, do I knock or not? <laughs> yeah, he does, Ben. Uh, big up to Gracie, yeah, if you do, like... Uh, that sort of content then do subscribe to AVSTS Reacts. Back it up, back it in. Let me again. It's gonna be Bertie and Luca Dean who are gonna come on. Yeah, you you say what you need to say. <laughs> Here's Tim Ream. Homer Simpson. How are you? Yeah, well, the ball's not going out of play to make these subs at the moment. But it is going to be probably Moreno and either Buendia or Ramsey. I bet he takes off Ramsey and keeps on Buendia. Here is uh, Cedric. Cedric crosses it. Vinicius waiting. Concert deals with it. Fulham piling on the pressure here. Here's Cedric again. Here is oh, Fulham are peppering us right now. Deckel Dover Reed into Cedric who turns. And Ramsey's there, and he wants a goal kick, and we get a goal kick. Bloody hell, this is this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> Love that up the villa. <laughs> right, get these double changes on. The squad's way too thin, John. The squad's way too thin. Moreno for Luca Dean, as we expected. Interesting to see who Bertie comes on for. Interesting to see who Bertie comes on for. And Bertie for... Ramsey, he's done the same subs. <laughs> he's done the same subs. Bertie's on for Ramsey. Ramsey comes off. I did think that Brendier looked a bit, uh, as some of you said, fried and cooked. Um, but Bertie's going to come on. Why do they twist your melon curve? What is it about them, mate? <laughs> yeah, Ramsey's coming off. <laughs> Robin's enjoying that call. The boss makes us two changes. But no, you are a gent. House of Pain, hello, 1994. Yes, Pox. What a gun. Absolutely. 
But yeah, big up to everyone in here. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Hopefully we see Villa get over the line. We've hit 100 likes as well. Can we squeeze to 115? If you haven't put your thumbs up yet, then smash the thumbs up. Why have uh, Leicester City not scored? <laughs> Two goals, that is. Ben, I've got no player on this one. No name, actually, mate. No name. But yeah, call me Josh as well, Ben, if you didn't know my name. Right, 13 minutes to go. Villa have made a double change. Bertie and Luca Dean are on. Villa currently sit in fifth place. I would love a clean sheet at home. Up the villain, says uh, Raswam. Yeah, it's because he's got that bit of quality. You are right, to be fair. Brain, you are right. Here's uh, Ram uh, Buendia, who's just been chopped, actually. And uh, he's just taken a bit of a foul there. Old Amy Buendia. <laughs> Palina was the one. Maybe uh, maybe Buendia might have to come off the way he's just been chopped there. The way he's just been chopped. But yeah, guys, if you do want to get a membership and support the channel, then do check out the... Uh, the, the, the link that's just gone in. Uh, memberships on 99p. Supports the channel massively. Aaron Shelton, thank you for liking. Appreciate it. It absolutely is, Jason. It absolutely is. Olsen. I'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'll get a Villa Olsen shirt if he leaves and never plays for us again. Yeah, Stephen, I don't deal with the 70 minute mark well. Did any members predict a 1 0 scoreline? Dino, Rachel, and Nolan did. Dino, Rachel, and Nolan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Emmy Martinez into Tyrone Mings. Mings now. Into Louise. Louise and Concert. Yeah, I agree, Debbie. Come on, where is this goal? Conta now plays it, looking for Bertie. Bertie gets in behind. Bertie now drives into the box on the byline. Bertie, where are you going, Bertie? Falls to Dougie, though, from the clearance. Dougie shoots, and it's over the bar from Dougie Louise. Not quite as convincing for Aston Villa, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, a bit of a sight there. Ball in behind for Bertie. Falls to Dougie Louise. Goes to set himself. Tries to curl into the top corner, and unfortunately, it just goes over. VAR in the Leeds match. What for? What for, Duncan? What for, Duncan? A Leicester goal? Bertie to score. Come on, Leicester. Burnley. <laughs> Here's a Deckled Dover Reed. Recycles into Tossin. Yeah, Wolves are fine. Wolves are always going to be fine. Wolves are always going to be fine in this league. They've got an elite manager like us, Lopetegui. Look at that Aston Villa high line again, catching Dan James. Basically in an offside position, but the ball runs out for a goal kick anyway. <laughs> who was that who tried to... Vinicius on uh, Emi Buendia. Argentinian and Brazilian flair. Leeds and Leicester's big on Villa and Vaughan called US. Boo, US. Possible handball in the Leeds box. What for? What? Oh, oh, oh. oh, Duncan, who? Possible handball. Possible penalty. <laughs> Not given. Oh, cheating, 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 Leeds. Uh, looks like Fulham are going to make their last sub to try and win this game. Yeah, seriously, Wolves have got a squad. Wolves have got... Wolves and... Yeah, you're right, Wolves and Villa. They should do bits next season, Wolves and Villa. They genuinely should do bits. Here's Cedric. <laughs> Ball goes forward now. Into uh, Tossin. Recycle that as well. Come on, Dean Smith. What's Dean Smith doing? What's Dean Smith doing, eh? Here's Tossin. Oh my god, Harrison's read is in. The flag stays down. Fulham are in. And it's gone in the back of the net. But luckily it's offside. Luckily it's offside. The Lino killed us there. Please tell me it's offside. 
Thank goodness. I, I mean, come on, Lino. The ball went in the back of the net, and I thought we conceded. It would have been a Ming's own goal. Jeez, oh. Come on, Villa. Will Cash and Kamara be back for the weekend? No, I don't think so, Jump. I don't think so. Luckily, it's ruled out for offside, that one. Read off Cabano on. Fulham are throwing the kitchen sink at it. Fulham are actually going really attacking now. Cabano on for Reed is is very attacking mindset. Um, very attacking mindset. Cabano. And Chambers is going to come on for Villa in a second. Again, we won't uh, we won't see John Duran, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree, uh, Homer. Flag's way too late, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, all good. Uh, thanks, little Al. We're all good. Hopefully, Villa get over the line. It's Burnt Leno. And ball. And ball. And ball. That's got to be a handball from Burnt Leno there. The goalkeeper. Dear, oh, dear. Yeah, look, you start to miss people like Bailey, Coutinho. Just a bit of quality to come on. Here's Cedric into Tossin. Yeah, we got no fluidity. We got no fluidity. This is the issue. Fulham do. Here's Cabano. Six minutes to go. I'm a little bit nervous here that Fulham might equalise. Dan James. Cedric into Dan James. Oh my gosh. Luca Dean though deals with that. Dan James. Thank you, Dan James. Thank you, Dan James, for being a moron. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Fouls Luca Dean. Really appreciate it, Dan James. Come on. Players have just not... The, the, the Villa players have not risen to the, to the second half. Ashley Young coming off. They just haven't um, backed up their first half performance. And uh, Chambers... Is coming on and is replaced by well, Callum. We breathe. We breathe. Emmy Martinez, five minutes to go. It has been stressed. It's never. It's never the. Yeah, you're right. Actually, Robin, I reckon we're gonna get. I reckon we're gonna get five minutes added time. Five minutes. <laughs> Dan James, yeah, man, he's, he's crazy, Dan James. Still, though, he could curse me and score in the 90th plus minute, and I literally... I won't be able to speak for days if Dan James does that to us. Doug Louise wins it back. Luca Dean into Emmy Buendia. Buendia into Watkins. Here comes the second, hopefully. Here's Buendia. Buendia. When dear, you, you're doing too much, Emmy. Pass the freaking ball, man. His legs are gone. Gaffer, Unai, get Emmy off. Cross comes in. Dan James at the back post misreads it. Gaffer, you've got to sub uh, Emmy Buendia. Get John Duran on, please. Emmy Martinez comes, claims it. Please, Unai, take Buendia off. His legs are done for me. His legs are done. His legs are shot. There he is. Come on, Jamie. Change the game. Oh, I'm begging you, Unai. Get John on. <laughs> Please don't send this video to Dan James. <laughs> Ball goes forward into Ollie Watkins. Villa won a foul. Don't get one. Here's Emmy Buendia. He plays it into an awkward channel for Watkins. Watkins is going to pick it up. Here's Ollie Watkins. 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 Shoots into Tom Kearney. It's blocked. Villa have to go again. It's Dan James. Dan James passes it to Tyro Mings. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan James. <laughs> Um, no, I don't think Buendia is a flop. I think there's still a good, a good... Look at Vinicius. He's a bit of a hothead. I think there's still some very good elements of Emi Buendia. But it's just his price tag, isn't it? It's just his price tag is... Um, 
what obviously you know people criticize i guess <laughs> but yeah i just think his legs are uh, buendia's legs but there's no movement on the aston villa bench for another sub and we've got three and a half minutes plus the stoppage <laughs> yeah it's, dan james has helped the villa oh emmy's getting booked for time wasting I think so, Nathan. Emmy Martin has just been uh, booked for time wasting. It's a real shame, that. It's a real shame. Here's Robinson, down the line. Concert deals with that. Hello, Lloyd. Here's Cabano. Please, final whistle. Comte reads that in behind. Vinicius is on his tail. Esri Comte, that's brilliant. Good reading from Esri. Just to remind you, Aston Villa are still fifth in the Premier League. Fifth as it stands right now. <laughs> oh, big tackle there from... D oh, Refo! No! No way is that a foul! Do one! Thirty. Ah, is that fire? Fulham have got a free kick on the byline here. Yeah? Oh, it's so not byline on the throw-in line, touch line. A minute to go. Don't screw this up, Villa bag. We just haven't been there at the second half. We just haven't been at the levels we need to in the second half. We haven't been where we should be in this second half. It's not good. It's not good. Come on. Come on, Unai. Get us over the line. Free kick to Fulham here. I'm nervous. Final minute of normal time. Plus stoppage. Tom Kearney with his left foot on the throwing line. Crosses in. Lo no, no. Clear. Bloody hell, Bertie. You've got to clear that. You're the first man. Gets thrown back in the mixer. Chambers heads at this time. Deckel Dover Reed. Dan Donkin now. And uh, here is Bertrand Torres. To carry the ball. Get it up the pitch, Bertie. And luckily he wins a throw in. Bertie though. Bertie, 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 Bertie. Cheers, Aaron Edwards. I like your. I like it. You're helping me. Five minutes added on time. That's what I predicted. Five massive minutes for Aston Villa here. Five massive minutes. Ten games undefeated as it stands under Unai Amre. Come on. Chambers launches the throw. Dougie wins the header. Bit of head tennis going on. Scrappy. Buendia. Into McGinn. Pack it up, pack it in. Give it to McGinn. Watkins tries to run and toss in. Buendia picks up the seconds. Luca Dean now on his left-hand side. Can Villa be smart? Can Villa be, you know, sensible here? Can we try and get it to the corner? What a touch from Dougie to make it 2-0! McGinn just wide of the goal. Look at Unai bouncing up and down on the line. McGinn wanted to take something on. Dougie and McGinn linking again. Oh, so unlucky. McGinn nearly wraps it into the bottom corner. Oh, just wide from our skipper. So there's a massive four minutes. Massive four minutes. Let's get over the line. Donks. Misses the tackle. Look at Emery. Prowling up and down his touchline. He's so far out of his technical area. He's trying to point to everyone what to do. Chambers versus Cabano. Go close him down, Chambers. Close him down, Bertie. Get out to him. Cross comes in from Cabano. Makes up between Mings and Martinez, but Mings just clears it. Jeez. Oh. Blow the whistle, ref. Here's Dan James. No, no beer today on a school night. I could do with a beer. Oh, my God. Chance of full on Deckel David Reed. Oh, in Emmy's hands. Mings nearly puts it in his net again. Emmy just looks at Tyrone. Mings nearly does it again. Mings gets out close to Bobby Deckel David Reed. And as he gets out close, he nearly puts it in his own net. Mental. Mental. <laughs> 
Amy Martinez just slowing it down. Come on. Three minutes to go. I'm clock watching. I'm clock watching. I'm clock watching. The thing is, Fulham haven't actually tested Emmy Martinez. Fulham haven't actually tested Martinez. Dougie Louise getting player of the match. Get over the line here, Villa. Donks and Dougie getting each other's way. There is the Donks. Chambers. Down the channel, looking for McGinn. Pack it up, pack it in, McGinn. Wins. Oh, goal kick. McGinn's going furious at the line -o. Should have been a corner. You tell him again. You tell him again. Should have been a corner. I can see that from here. McGinn's gone crazy at the line -o. Fulham have the ball now. Playing up from about two minutes. Christ, come on. Oh. Tim Ream plays it long. Got to be offside. Get in there. Vinicius is offside there. That is lazy. That is lazy from Vinicius Jr. You can't be stood in an offside position like that. In oh, he's not offside. He's not offside, to be fair. Lino saved us. He's actually not offside. Thank you, Lino. Thank you, Lino. You, you owe us one. Right. Emmy, don't get a second yellow. I can't look at Robin Olsen playing a goal against Man United. So, Emmy Martinez is just slowing it down. We're on 93, uh, coming up to the 94th minute. One minute left. Emmy Martinez is just trying to time waste, but if he gets the second yellow, he'll be sent off. We don't need that in our lives. <sighs> Emmy kicks it long, looking for Ollie Watkins. Tossin makes the header, flicked on by Palinia. Dougie Louise puts it back in, Tossin again. Villa are playing in the right areas. McGinn now trying to flick it on, and Tossin just clears it. Let's keep it in the Fulham half, guys. Comps goes down. Feels like Vinicius has just elbowed him, and we win another free kick. <laughs> Hallelujah! Uh, I like Fot Mob curved. F O T M O B. Fot Mob. I quite enjoy that one. Uh, we got 30 seconds left, and we've got a free kick on the halfway line. This ball needs to be rifled into the corner. Bertie, get on your bike. Come on, get over the line. Concert into Bertie. Dougie, into the corners. Come on, run, run, run. Press, press, press. Buendia is pressing. Luca Dean on Dan James. Oh, thank you, Dan James, for that stupid flick. Take it to the corner. And Buendia wins a throw, and I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We just need the whistle to go. I think we've done it. And the whole end of trying to urge this Villa team on. McGinn's got it in the corner. And there is the full-time whistle. Villa get over the line. We win the game. 1-0 Aston Villa against Fulham. That's massive. Three more points in the bag. Ten games undefeated. Another clean sheet at home. We are flying. And we are fifth. And the lucky shirt does it again. <laughs> My player of the match. Our names, Leicester have scored. Come on, Leicester as well. Come on, send the leads down. Look at all the Argentinian flags there for Emmy. But, guys, unbelievable three massive points. We're fifth. We're fifth. We're fifth. We're fifth. Boom, boom, boom. We are fifth. We are fifth. Let me get that league table up one more time to show you. Here it is. Here it is. There we are, people. Fifth. Tottenham play Man United. It's a massive game. I would actually, you know, a draw would be interesting in that. It keeps both teams at bay. But unbelievable, guys. We are fifth in the Premier League. Embrace it. Enjoy it. Ten unbeaten. Ten unbeaten. Wow. Ten games unbeaten is unbloody believable. We can't stop winning. And Emmy has got his clean sheet. He's loving it. And... Uh, Guys, I really appreciate all your support today on the channel. Thank you for everyone who's liked, for commented, and uh, who has enjoyed the show. That was nervy, but we got over the line. I don't care how we win now as an Aston Villa fan. I just want us winning games of football. Um, if you enjoyed that, then appreciate it. Uh, I think we might be back Thursday. Maybe we will watch the Manchester United 
uh, versus Tottenham gamers. We've got a bit of interest in that. Um, or, yeah, we'll probably look at that game, to be honest. Although it's annoying, it's an 8.15 kickoff. I ain't a fan of that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then we will, of course, be back on Saturday for uh, Torquay versus Wrexham. And then on Sunday... We're going to be vlogging Manchester United versus Aston Villa. I'll be at Old Trafford. It's been an absolute pleasure being in the house with you. Big up Unai Amre, Claret Blue Army. It's a massive win, a big win, and we're loving it. Big up to Matt Parker, to Red Villain, to Duncan Kilburn, uh, to Ty, uh, to Rachel, to VJ, to Nathan, to Robin, uh, to Danielle, to Roy, to Smitty, to Jules, to Be Happy, to Curve, to Aaron Edwards, to John Potton, to Jason Frost, to Debbie, to Be uh, to Rob Cartman, to Brain, and uh, to anyone else who's in the chat, Carla Wilson, Pox Holiday, Gracie, Pete Tandy, Jason Powell, Jay in Atlanta, we've done it, people, we've done it. I'm going to love you and leave you. Hopefully see you on Thursday. If not, definitely Saturday, Repton versus Torquay, and then the big vlog is there. We are fifth, and VM Howard as well. I'm going to love you and leave you. See you on the next one. Ta-da! <laughs>